All right, Patriarch has called. Colt has called. We are here. Nobody's here. <coughs> what was that? Did you hear that? <coughs> what? That's weird. What? My precious. What is that? We don't eat that. That's metal. G'day everyone and welcome back to Risky Rollers. I'm your co-host Lockie. And I'm Dalton. And we've got a grudge match here for you today. Yeah, big time. Tyranids are finally showing themselves on the channel and we are showcasing the new release of the Octarius book. There's so much cool stuff in that book. You're going to show so some of it off today. Oh it's, yeah. Oh yeah. It's great. And I'm bringing against them, I'm bringing the Necrons. Uh, a bit unorthodox, a couple of reanimators on my list today. A bit different, you're like, what, what's going on? I'm sure they can work and I'm going to prove it to you. Uh, on the tabletop. I reckon they can, I reckon they can. Uh, if you wanted to hear a bit more about why it is we're bringing what we're bringing, check out our pre-game show. It's available exclusively for patrons. Um, you go on there, we go in-depth to lists, battle plans, what mission we're playing, secondaries. Some great discussion in that one. 100%. And gives a really good bit of insight for the game today. As always, big thanks to Dice Arcade for being our amazing sponsor of oh. the channel. Team over there is great. If you're out there, hit it up for, for all your wargaming needs. Absolutely. Um, make sure as well to check out our Patreon and our Discord. Doing some great stuff in there, having some good chat, some good hangouts with some of the blokes in there. Yep, 100%. Yeah. Well, with further ado, let's get into the lists and let's play this game. Let's do it. Hi, Fleet fans. Here we are, finally. We're eating biomass. It's awesome. Um, I'm using High Fleet Leviathan. Haha, <laughs> surprise. Uh, using the Octarius book and as much as I can give you with the models that I have. So, first HQ choice, oh sorry, it's a battalion. Need to keep those CPs. First HQ choice is a Broodlord. Uh, bare bones and I've paid for the Synaptic Link ability on him. Second HQ slot is the Neurothrope. The Neurothrope is the Warlord. I have paid the CP to give him two Warlord traits. I am using Strategic Adaptation and Swarm Leader. Uh, we'll go over the redeploy stuff when they come up, if they come up, if I need to. Uh, I've also given it the Relic uh, Adaptive Neural Lobe for that CP regen. Third and final choice is a Tyranid Prime. Uh, bare bones again, and I'm just using this pretty much for the Synaptic Link ability. In the troop slot, we have a fair few. So we're running 15 Gene Stealers. Second troop slot, we have 15 Hormagorns. Third troop slot, we have 12 Hormagans. <laughs> Hormagans. Third troop slot, we have 12 Termagans. Fucking hell. I gotta say it right. Third troop slot, we have 12 Hormagans. Jesus! 12 Terma. Okay. Third troop slot, we have. Third troop slot, we have 12 Termagans. Alright. For the third troop slot, we have 12 Termagans. And finally, for the fourth troop slot, we have a unit of warriors. The warriors have Scything Talons, two Death Spitters, and one Venom Cannon. Ideally, I would be running nine warriors, but they're coming. Listen to the pregame show. For our elites, I am running one unit of Hive Guard. I'm only running three, because that's all we have, but they are still gonna be awesome. Second elite's choice is Lictor, just as is, it's my action monkey. Third and final elite's choice is a unit of zone throbes. Just three, I'm only gonna get in the single power, but we'll see how that plays out. The mortal wounds will help against Necrons. In the fast attack choice, we just have one big boy, Dimecaron. I love it, it's my favorite model. It's painted really well, it's awesome. For the heavy support, we have quite a stacked lineup. So first one is a barbed hydro jewel. I have paid the one CP to get adaptive physiology and I've chosen Dermic Symbiosis for that 5 up in bond and the counting as double wounds. Second slot is an X crime Bare bones, just as is. And then finally, our third slot is a Trigon Prime. I've also given the Trigon the Relic Biomorphic Carapace to make it minus one to wound. So, pretty expensive uh, model for what it can do, but if it does do well, it can hopefully wreck some face. So that's the list. Let's go destroy Necrons, because we don't eat them. Let's see Dalton's list. All right, Necrons have already annihilated this planet, destroyed the Gene Stealer cult that called the Tyranids here. Now we're gonna do the same to them. So my Necrons today, I'm taking a custom dynasty. I've got the six inch pregame move and the objective secured across the whole army. 
My warlord today, and my first HQ choice, is an overlord. She's got the Hand of the Phaeron, Staff of Light, Resurrection Orb, which I've upgraded to the Orb of Eternity, as well as the Implacable Conqueror Warlord trait. My second HQ choice is a Technomancer with the Canoptic Cloak and the Veil of Darkness. I've also given it the Phylacterine Hive. For my three troops choices, I've taken two units of 20 Necron Warriors, one with Reapers and one with Flayers, and then a unit of 10 Immortals, all of them with Tesla Carbines. I've got five Elite's choices, a unit of five Lich Guard with Warsides, a unit of four Scorpec Destroyers and an accompanying Plasma Sight, and a Transcendent Catan Shard, which I've given Sky of Falling Stars and Antimatter Meteor, and I've given the Cosmic Tyrant, of course, to use those twice. And then, a controversial pick, I've got two separate Canoptic Reanimators. I'm convinced they're going to work, and uh, I guess we'll see how that goes. In Fast Attack, I've got two units of four Scarabs for a bit of screening. In Heavy Support, I've taken a single Canoptic Doomstalker, and two units of two Heavy Locust Destroyers. All four of them are armed with the heavy gas destructors. And that's the list. Let's hit the table and wipe these Tyranids off the face of the planet just like everyone before them. The board is set. The pieces are moving. Oh, here we go, here we go. There's a little bit of Lord of the Rings for you. I think it's Lord of the Rings, right? Um, yeah, it is Lord of the sure. Rings. Sure, yeah. Um, okay, here we go. Board is set and it is gonna be big. We thought we'd cleanse this planet and then these bright neon bugs have shown up, mm. despoiling our lovely, beautiful, irradiated deserts again. <laughs> we want nothing. <laughs> yeah. um, so you've seen we're playing Surround and Destroy, so it's six objective mission. Mm -hmm. Take one, hold, hold one, two or more. Yeah, which is so, weird. Which is kind of cool. Um, so okay. terrain, we've got pretty much a lot of obscuring. Um, Ooh, yeah. So each piece of big ruins in each corner is obscuring as well yeah. as the two big rock formations in the middle. Yeah. Uh, well, central. Um, the uh, gantry. Gantry looking In the middle thing. is dense. The building around it is just ruins. Yep. Um, and you gotta be, you gotta be right actually physically within touching inch, that. Or within an inch, yeah, right yeah, within the edge. Inch, yeah, yeah. Um, but the, the gantry itself is dense. Yep. Similarly, we've then got the little bits that are scattered throughout the middle, we're essentially treating them as ruins. They're, they're light cover, breachable, scalable, etc. Yep. Um, similarly, all the obscuring terrain is also breachable, scalable, and light. 100%. Um, yep. Yeah, so it's just quick one big thanks to Davidson Wargaming for supplying the. Um, rock terrains and then battle maps for supplying this amazing mass. Yes, Jack's done a great job. Um, they look fantastic. They're also the ones making the Risky Rollers maps. They and, are, um, yeah. So if so you- yeah, if a lot more, lot more in the works between us and them. Oh yeah, 100%. Ooh, and if you're a store out there, hit him up and start speaking to him about his stuff. Yep, we can put you in contact. You can jump in Discord and contact him directly. Good stuff can happen. So uh, let's go over deployment and how we've- Oh yeah, how we've sort of deployed I was like, bit. let's roll off. <laughs> yeah, we'll, right, we'll get there, we'll get you, there. Yeah, you go through yours. Uh, all right, so I've deployed, uh, Lockie started deploying first, so I've been a bit reactionary, but also I've got a pretty set plan for this. As you would have heard in the pre-game show when I went, went over it, the warriors are going to push forward, hold the mid-ground, and just be unshiftable. I've got a res orb hanging around, where's, where's that? Down here somewhere, to resurrect whichever one needs it. I've got a reanimator near each unit, but also a bit adaptable. I've got destroyers on both flanks. They're highly mobile, they can be wherever they want. There's no negative for firing heavy weapons and moving, so they're great. Scarabs on both flanks as well. Destroyers in the middle, Transcendent Katan on my other flank, just to push forward their, their heat-seeking missiles, essentially. Yep. They're gonna run forward, throw out mortal wounds, move block, and just mince, mince some nids. Try to. Um, no, they're definitely going to mince some <laughs> nids. I put my Doomstalker on this side of the board, add a bit of extra heavy firepower against the two big bugs. So that's here. You can see both the Dharmakarant and the Hierodule without moving. Although I do, of course, have the six inch pregame move uh, after we've determined who has first turn. Yes. Mm. Um, and that's the point for me. Yeah, mm. so mine is pretty much just be as cagey as possible and hold everything back. Um, I have strung out, so part of the new Octarius rules is synapse creatures that have synaptic link abilities can 
chain their ability. So mm. I have deployed in a way that they're all within 12 inches of each other. So that is the Warriors on the near left, to the Prime, to the Zone Thropes, to the Neurothrope, to the Broodlord. So I can choose, of the three that I do each turn, I can put it on my entire army. Yep. Any buff wherever I want. It's it's a really cool new bit of bit of law and yeah. a, or new bit of rules that reflect the law really well. 100%. I'm keen to see how they play out the table. And pretty much just trying to keep everything as obscured as possible. So uh, if I do lose first turn, I'm only my big bugs are really going to suffer hits um, potentially. So that's just uh, the way you have to play when you're playing a a, a, a um, I don't want to say weak, but a, a less durable yeah, uh, yeah. army. So that's that. Yeah. Let's do this roll off. Yeah, so uh, I'm trying to go first just to, to have that extra turn of getting onto the objectives and where I need to be. Mm -hmm. And I think you're trying to have first turn so you don't get shot to pieces immediately. Kind of, I, I'm, I'm actually happy either way, to be honest. Okay, yeah. I know it doesn't bother I mean, me. I feel I can probably play with second as well. So yeah, we'll see. Yep. Which was which roll? Oh. I, I, I was the six. You're the six, I was the five, right? I went across yeah, this yeah, way, yeah. yeah. So uh, with that lovely, beautiful RR on our Risky Rollers dice. Oh yeah. Um, I'll be taking first turn. Yeah, so before we yeah. get into it, I am not going to redeploy anything. Mm -hmm. So, um, because of my Neurothropes uh, Wallard trait, I have the ability to redeploy up to two units. So you're not so, going to do that? You're not going to put anything into Strategic Reserve? You're not going to um, do that? No, I'm not. I'm not, because I want it all on the board for, for a hard count, count charge. Like I said, yeah. everything is obscured pretty well, um, and this was basically, if I won first turn, uh, I would push something out to be uh, much more hyper aggressive. Yep. So uh, we don't need that. Uh, yeah. So I'll just yeah. leave it. All right. Well, good luck. Yes. Good game. No worries. Let's uh, do a pre-game move and get right back to you with Necrons turn one. The implacable Necrons have marched forward across the board. We're uh, doing a whole bunch of stuff. It's actually a pretty big turn for us. So to start with, our protocol for this turn is Protocol of the Sudden Storm. And I've chosen Directive number two, which lets me attack with ranged weapons even if I'm performing an action. Uh, not that it's gonna come into play hugely here, given I'm going second, but still gonna be matter because I've got one, two, three, four infantry units doing banners on four different objectives. Nice. Um, so they're all bannering, Lich Guard, Immortals, and both Warriors, and they can still shoot when they need to. Not that there's a lot to shoot at, really. Uh, in addition, for early stuff, the reanimators on each unit of warriors. Classic. Mm -hmm. My will be done is on the Reaper warriors. Um, I don't think it's gonna, and, and the Lich Guard. I don't think it's going to come into play this turn. No, nope. it's there anyway. Yep. And I think otherwise, a couple of things to point out with movement. The immortals and the reanimator here are precisely an inch away from the interior of these walls, so they can't be charged through them. You have to come around to charge them. Um, both destroyers units have moved up, so they're in range of the Hyrodule, because that's probably the scariest thing across the board at the moment, and that's what they're here to do. The Transcendent Catan has moved along, so either the Warriors or the Exocrine is the nearest visible unit. Um, I'll get you to double check that one for me. I'm not sure if I can make it the Exocrine and not the Warriors, but yeah. that's what I'm trying to do. I think you'd be equal to the Hormers too. Visible. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, oh, yep, 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 yep. So can I, close to visible, can that be the Exocrine and not the Warriors? No. Or is it, okay, no, no, cool. No so I can see the Warriors, um, and I'll be able to do a bunch of powers there. Yep. That's it for movement, except for, of course, those powers. So I'm going to use Antimatter Meteor first, which is why I was asking, actually, no. I'm not going to make that mistake. <laughs> I'm going to use Sky of Falling Stars first, because I roll a dice, and on a one to five, if it's fewer than the number of models in the unit, they suffer D3 mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. If I did the other one first, I could kill a warrior and Sorry. make this harder. Quickly. Yep. Command points. What do you start oh, of on? Of course. I start on nine and go up to ten yep. at the start of this turn. And I also start on nine. Cool. So, in that case, I will select the warriors. Mm -hmm. um, and on a one or a two, there's a D3 mortal wounds. On a one or a two? Yep. So if I roll fewer than their number of models. Oh, there. right. Of course. Yeah, it's that one. Yep, yep, yep. Nope. nope. Um, and then on the Hormagons. Because these ones don't need to be visible. Yeah. So this is just and that just goes off. Uh, because... If I rolled a six, it wouldn't. Oh right. Okay. And then d three, two. Cool. All right. So then sixes. Yep. Nope. Cool. All right. And now antimatter meteor. Hmm. So on a three to five, it's d three, and on a six, it's d three plus three. Okay. 
Nothing. Yay! Winner, winner! Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a CP oh, to please. randomly do another oh, power. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Number one, antimatter meteor, meteor again. again. Yeah. All right, so have, have a go off this time. There we go. This is what happens every time we play this. <laughs> so it's three, three mortal wounds on the warriors. Right. On the warriors? Yep, because they're the closest visible unit. Uh, within 24. So you say three? Three, flat three. Hey! hey. Leviathan pays off. Yep. Um, cool. Oh, so only uh, one loses two, and I'll do that there. Yeah. That's going to be it for movement. Um, yeah, keep scarabs, going. Uh, the only other thing I'll point out, scarabs are real close. They're going to be tying up some warriors and some hive guard with some charges. But otherwise, uh, that's going to be about it, and we'll be right back with Necrons in the shooting phase. Time to bring the pain and molecularly annihilate you. There's no biomass left after this. <laughs> you, can't, you can't record it. You can't <laughs> regain any of this. No, no, maybe not. No. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the two Locust Heavy Destroyers over here. Uh, they're going to go straight into your barbed hurry duel. Hit it. Um, so I'm rolling, I'll roll them together because I don't think it matters. Yep. They're hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because of uh, Hatred Eternal. Or some variation there. There we go. Or hatred Everything, I think, or whatever it's called now. Yep. Both hit. Yep. Uh, I'm going to spend a CP for one of them to automatically wound. Okay. On Techno Oracular Targeting. Wouldn't you do that before you roll? After you roll a hit, before you roll a wound. Oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah. And then uh, I will roll the other one. So your toughness... Eight. So I'm strength 10, so threes. Nope. Woo! Um, so this is where then I'm also going to spend a CP to reroll that with just a CP reroll. Okay. There you go. Right. So two at AP minus right. four. So how many CP have you spent now? Uh, I just spent another two, so I spent three in total. You spent three in total. All right, so I'm rolling three dice. Yep. Uh, for my Neurothropes Warlord trait, um, Adaptive Neural Lobe, God, all these names. Uh, yep. On fives, this is for every CP that you roll. If yep. anyone listened to our podcast, I was hating on this because I misread it thinking it was when you did a stratagem, but it's actually for each command point used. So Which would be the same here because I've used three strats. Yeah, but, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like, so there's yep. more chances. So on, yep. on any five, I get a CP back. Yep. So well, you get... I, got, I would get three, but obviously the call rules say you can only get one back per turn. Yep. Per battle so, round. Yeah, yep. so that puts me up to ten. Very nice. Cool. And then, sorry, that was what? Two, Minus four. Two fives. No. Nope. So these are 3d3 damage each. <clears throat> I'll CP one. No, cool. I won't. God damn it. Um, so how many wounds have 18 wounds in total, yeah? Yeah. So for the first 3d3. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Um, do you want to roll your uh, feel no pains? Uh, yep. Nothing. Nothing. Cool. Wow. So you're down to 12. Give me one of these And the ones. next uh, 3d3. <laughs> I've lost a dice. There we go. So three, four, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Jeez. Counting. Good yeah. stuff. <laughs> oh my oh god, that was six! Okay, so Jeez. you got five left. You got five wounds left. Oh my Ouch. god. Um, oh, that's bad. Yeah. So, uh, in that case, I'm going to... Hmm. I'm tempted to split fire. It's a bad idea. Always a bad idea. Uh, that said, I am going to throw as many warriors that can shoot you into you as possible, mm -hmm. which is going to be one, two, they can all be in range. So everything, this line here is in range and nothing behind it is. Yep. And he can't see you. At all. Yep. Behind there. Yep. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. As in, in rapid fire or just in no, range? Just in range. Yeah, yeah. No one's in rapid fire range. Yep. So this 11. is going to be eleven shots. Um, I could spend another CP here for Methodical Destruction, or no, I think that's what it's called, which is Sixes. Auto no, wound. it's Disintegration Capacitor. Sixes yes, or auto, auto wound. wound. With 11 shots, I'm not going to. It's not worth it here. I'll be hitting on... Uh, hitting on really? Threes. There's five wounds left. I've got more shots to go into it, though. And it's two up safe. What's your minus on that? Minus one. Okay. But it's so not yeah. worth it here. Yeah. I'll be hitting on threes, winning on sixes. Because there's nothing else for these to shoot at, so I may as well. You're not re-rolling ones? No. Okay. I'm Necrons, man. It doesn't happen. I don't know. And it's the same with us. We don't get rerolls for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you do now. You got the. Well, oh, we do now. All right. That's more successful than I was hoping for. That's so two. So two threes. Oh my god! Another wound. One. Jesus. All right. Ugh. So, because of the swingy nature of the weapon, my next shot is going to be with this one here, the Doomstalker. Yep. Into the barbed hurry deal. The, oh, everything. Oh, just the big gun, because the well, other ones are out of range yet. You know what? I'll measure it, but I'm assuming they're out of range. Yeah, totally way, out of range. way out of range. Way out of range. All right. D six shots. Six. Two. Yay. Classic. Fours to hit. Fours. I like it. All right. Okay. Threes to wound. Yep. Was it strength nine? Nine or ten. Nothing. Nothing. Great. This is what happens. 
All right, and then uh, because splitting fires worked so well for me before, I'm not mm -hmm. going to do it. Both other locusts into it. Yep. It, it's got to go. Yeah. And I'm going to spend two more CP, just because I need it to die. Putting me down to five. I want to roll. <laughs> <laughs> want to get more CP, I would have had like five now. <laughs> and now this is on um, the destroyer stratagem, which is extermination protocols. Yep. It'd be better on a unit of three or a big unit of normal destroyers, but it gives me full rerolls to wound. Because I can't right. use Techno Oraculator or the uh, command point reroll again. Yep. So I'm just going to do it here. So it doesn't matter ranged or shooting, that doesn't matter? Uh, it's shooting and it's only on the destroyers. Oh, right. Destroyers. Oh, yeah, right. Cool, cool. That's, that's awesome. Two hits. Yep. And then threes to wound. Lovely, didn't need it. Didn't need it, what a waste of CP. Yep. Fives. Uh, all right. And I can't CP. So, so 3d3 he, damage. He can die. Lol, this would be hilarious if it dies 10 one. Yep. Wow, what's that? Three, six, eight. I could yep. roll eight sixes. You could roll eight sixes. Well, could I don't done. need eight, but I need a bunch of them. One, two, three, like four, four, five, six. Yeah, because you've got four wounds left. <laughs> four wounds left, I need a bunch. You need five. If it was I got five, two! Oh my god! If it was five, five catalyst would be, be fine! Yeah. Alright, does it explode? Come on, do it. Oh, oh okay. god, Jesus Christ. That would have been fantastic. Oh. So, right. first model syndrome for the channel, not for at all, because it's not new, but uh, that's a shame. Oh mm. well. Look, um, that's exactly what they're here for. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they do. So, uh, shall I move on? Where am I looking? I, I haven't know. really got a lot of other shooting that can see anything. Well, you could, uh, the Dimakiran, of course. Yeah, but so they're, the, out, they're out of range. Eighteen inches. Twelve inches. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. Okay. They're, um, they're they're, that's they're, your they're, turn then, bro. That's gonna be charges next. Oh, sorry, charges, of course. Um, you know what? Let, we'll carry straight on through into the charge phase because I've only got two to happen. It's gonna be these scarabs here are going to charge the hive guard. Um, how many wins have I got? There? Four. Four each. Uh, with two, three, six, hit on sixes. No, okay. Uh, yeah. Right, do it. No. Ooh, three inches, probably not enough to do it. That's it's not going that's to be. That's a fail, yeah. yeah. Uh, ooh. I'm tempted to re-roll that, because that's pretty important to tie them up. Yeah, I guess. So I'm going to CP re-roll that. There we go. Five will do it. Yep. Um, so I'll get in there. Puts me down to four command points, though. I'm blistering through them. And then the other scarabs are going to charge the... Uh, I'm going to say the warriors. Yep. Yeah. Yep, they make it in with a seven. Yep, yeah, cool. So we'll move those in and be right back in the combat phase. No worries. Let's do it. Scarabs over here, straight into the warriors. Um, they're gonna pile in. Do you want to do you pile in? Do you want me to just scoot, uh, scoot you around? So scoot them along. They're moving towards the exocrine. They want to tie up the exocrine, so you got to fall back with it. They, they won't get it there now, but they'll get there with consolidation. And I'm gonna attack with them first, so that they maybe might kill the one warrior and one wound, so that um, they won't get as many attacks back into them. Okay. So they're going to be hitting on fours, because they're scarabs. That's wow. not bad. It's going to be all. another one of those games, fam. Mm. Where Dalton rolls hot and Lucky rolls bad. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then... Uh, Fives and sixes. Give me like sixes. No, you're strength three. I'm T4. Strength, strength three, yeah. I'm T4. Oh, oh yeah. Fives. Scarabs. Yeah. Warriors Fives. should totally be T6. Oh, they should. Well... Until custodies do, yeah. Oh my yeah. god, really? Look at that. Jesus Christ. There you go. So, uh, four. So we're in cover there, yeah. Oh no, not heavy cover. Yeah, so fours. Yep. And one more. No. Cool. So it kills one and leaves one or two wounds. Yes. And then Sorry, they'll, con they'll consolidate another three inches around into the exocrine as well. Just to tag him. And the idea there, all the scarabs are doing uh, if I didn't get first turn, I'd be using them for screening psychic powers and stuff against the um, Katan and that sort of thing. But because I did get first turn, I'm pushing them hard forward. They're going to tie up Lockheed shooting units and hopefully just make his first turn a little bit less effective. Now, would you like to interrupt with the Hive Guard against the other Scarabs? Um, you do have the CP for it. I definitely do have the CP for it, but I will be using a lot of CP on my end. Yep. So um, I will. You will? <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's do it. Actually, I need to actually, to be honest, I never actually use Hive Guard in combat. Yes. <laughs> so, I am um, not 100% sure on their combat profile. I'm pretty sure it's horrendous. Yeah. Um, well, look, and, and this is the whole idea. The three things I'm scared of turn one from Loki. Well, the Dimakiran, obviously. But the three shooting threats are the Hive Guard, the Exocrine, and the Barb Hurry Yule. 
I've dealt with one, the Exocrine's tied up, and the Hive Guard are tied up as well. Um, even if there's a fallback and, and shoot strat, he can only pick one of them. So, yeah. Um, I don't imagine they're terrible. No, the, they're not horrible. I mean, they don't have... Yeah, whatever. We'll just we'll do it. We'll, do, we'll, right. we'll just do it for... I mean, look, I've got CP. I can get it back pretty easy. So, yep. this is a good test to see if this relic is actually worth anything. So, it's six cool. attacks. Yep. Uh, on fours. Yeah. When you yeah. roll like that, not great. That's average. And then uh, strength... Strength six? No. Oh, then three. Come on. I'm pretty sure it's four. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Three at no minus. No minus. Uh, sixes. Hey, I made one. <laughs> uh, damage? <laughs> it's, just, it's no, they're no combat weapons. So okay. It's, it's so the standard. One yeah. of the scarabs is down to two wounds remaining. Yep. Uh, and the scarab will attack you back. All right, hit me. Toughness five? Yes. All right, so fours. A cocked one there. Oh, there's a cocked one just there. Cool. See, that's a better roll. That is much more, well, I think it's slightly below average, which is fair <laughs> enough considering the last one. Yep. And then fives. Yep. All right, two at uh, no AP. Uh, so two fours. All right, one, one wound. Man. Cool. All right, and then over there. You got the two warriors and then the Exocrine. All right, so three attacks on threes. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay. Uh, sorry, might have to be twos because we're within, oh my God. Really? Oh, that's horrendous. <laughs> Well, do your synaptic abilities, do you have to start them? In no, 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 not for those, but the warriors are within six of the prime. So oh, that, of course. Yeah, that's, that's Gary, actually, the Tyranid prime. It's, pl it's plus one to hit. So I just need to see if, if warriors... Yeah, weapon skills three. So it is two. Hey, Thank nice. God. Yeah, good lord. <laughs> it's like you may have all been uh, I will see two one. All right. Cool. Right, so that's four. And then... Um, oh, I'm re-rolling ones. Oh, nice. So I won't yeah, use three that of CP. Three of those. So uh, I won't get that one back. Right. So three here, and cool. then it's... Yeah. There you go. Okay, cool. cool. So full full house, and I didn't use the CP. Sorry for that little bit Lost. of uh, fours. All right, cool. So three at uh, at minus five at minus one. Oh, oh yeah, five at minus one. Yeah. I just take them. They're one damage each or two damage each. Uh, one damage each. So five. So it'll kill one and leave one on three wounds. Oh, well, yeah. You have to remove. So you you pick the pick the one you want to well, remove. It'll, it'll it'll be the one that's it's not not in combat with the X guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, dead scarab. Yeah. No. Yeah. Cool. The Exocrine? Oh, the Exocrine, of course. Oh, you can find it. Yeah. Wow, again, all this, sorry, sorry everyone. I, just, I don't use these models. Again. He's done very well, straight up. Um, I, it's just, they, this is this is my army. I love Necrons. Yeah, it is your army, yeah. I know. And unfortunately, my army, oh, we don't have the models yet. We're getting there, we're getting there. It was the first army to beat your army. No, well, first time on the channel, but, oh, sorry, yeah, this army this was army. the first army. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was. Good stuff. Um, all right, so we only got three attacks, but it's strength seven. Only three? Surely it's like Stomp or something that's... Nah, nah, come on, bro. This is like one of the oldest, it's oh, the yeah. third oldest book. Three attacks and it's on... Oh my God. Yeah, no, not, not that. It's on, it's on nothing. That's what it is. Wow. Cool. All right. <clears throat> well, um... That's what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> if I could flip the table, I would flip it, but it's a bit too big. <laughs> yeah, you made it too well. It's too steady. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll deal with our pile-ins and, and so forth and mark up uh, wounds taken. And we'll be right back for Nid's turn one and see what you can do with that. Hopefully something. All right, let's do it. I am in mass defensive mode and just at the moment, like, let's yeet. It doesn't look very defensive. You've come at me pretty hard. Well, sorry, that is also true. Not in defensive <laughs> mode. I'm more in, oh, you've hit me. Now I'm angry. Let's just wreck face. Mm. So, Hormers have moved up, got a mad awesome mass advance. Cool. Looking um, very, very Starship Troopers coming over that rock. It's going to be epic. Yep. Uh, advanced up with zone throats. We have fallen out of combat with the Warriors and just touched the uh, terrain, so now yep. we're getting uh, cover. The Prime has just scooted over and the Exocrine has stayed in combat. We're just gonna shoot the Scarabs. Yep. It's not ideal, but Scarabs go away, we don't yep. need them in our lives. therefore, I'm happy with that. Exactly. Cool. Um, Dami Karen has just jumped up forward. Hive Guard have fallen back. Broodlord has scooped around the side to get, a, get rid of these Scarabs and the Gene Stealers have meandered forward. Meander's a good word. You didn't roll off well the advance on those. I did. 
and then I re-rolled it and rolled oh, less. No. Standard. That's oh. standard. So it went that. from a four to a one. Oh. Don't re-roll a four, yep. everyone. That's just silly. Hmm. So uh, command phase, we did it prior, but we didn't do it on camera. So everyone was within synaptic link ability, uh, range. Yep. So what we did is we put uh, the plus one to hit from the warriors over here. Their ability was buffed to the gene stealers. So that their ability from the warriors in that corner chained through the zoanthropes. Yep. Through over to the neurothrope. Yep. And then into the gene stealers. Yep. Very cool. Super I, I, cool. It's, it's such a cool rule. So yeah. at, at, as we keep building on on uh, the, the the models that we have within the faction, oh, there's a few lists I've written that are going to be disgusting. Yeah. Um, and you're going to see how really you can double down on that ability and make it crazy. Um, the Broodlord's uh, cover ability has been put on the Hormogons. Nice. So if they're being shot by anyone over 12 inches, they're getting dense and they're just getting treated as though they're in cover. So they go from a six to a five up. Um, it's gonna matter because they're gonna charge and you yep. know, Leviathan or whatever. Um, cool. And then finally, the Warriors, so, sorry, the Prime, so many remember. <laughs> the Prime's ability is also going on the Gene Stealers. So, um, yeah, that's, mm. that's, no, I actually can't do that. No, why not? You can't put two. Oh, you can't put two one. on the same you unit. You can't put two in mm. the same unit. So, Prime's ability is going on the Gene Stealers, and right. the plus one to hit is going to go on the Diamond Caron. Big man himself. Let's change that three or two. So, that's Fair just what it is. Well. Uh, so, yeah, you can, you can have as, I wanted to bring this up. Uh, I've heard in a bunch of podcasts that you, people are only choosing three in their lists. You can have as many as you want. You can only activate three a turn. Mm. So you can literally have every synapse creature across the board. You can have and three you, of every synapse creature yep. across the board. And you can double up too. So uh, you, what you can do is if you have three units of warriors, you can put the plus one to hit on three different units. Yes. Yep. Um, but you can only do three a turn. Yep. So, so you, you might have six units of warriors so that even if three of them die, you can still be putting out that extra to hit. That's happening. But you can way. only ever, <laughs> nice. <laughs> but you can only ever have three of them active at any given time. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So yeah, so that's what happened in the command phase. We got a CP back. Nice, and then spent it on a reroll that didn't work for you. No, no, they already lost that, so then I'm back up. Okay, cool. Yep. Um, right, we're just gonna smash straight into psychic phase. Yep. So first things first is we're gonna put Catalyst from the Broodlord onto the... Gene Stealers. Gene Stealers. Yep, Very nice. That's off. Bang. Go for it. Uh, we're also we're going to spend two CP. We're going to spend one CP for synaptic channeling, and then we're going to spend another CP for. Mm, it's called something. It's in the book. Uh, Octarius book. No, no, Blood of Baal book uh, enables a psyker to cast an additional. So this is for the zone throats. So the first one is going to be psychic channeling enables zone any psyker unit to know every power that everyone else knows. Yep. So because the Neurothrope knows Onslaught, now they know Onslaught, and they're gonna cast Onslaught on the Hormogons. That's so Advance in Charge? Advance in Charge. Very nice. Yep, very cool. Done. And then they will now cast uh, Smite on yep. your Warriors. So three of them can only cast one power, right? Yes, sorry. The, 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 the so reason that's why you use second CP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So when you have over three, you can cast two. Yeah, uh, yep. and they get super smart. So D just normal D3. Smite. Cool. One. Great. Cool. That'll uh, pop a warrior. Yay. That can't oh. come back. It can't reanimate. <laughs> it can't reanimate. Unless I use a, a res orb or something. Cool. Um, that's that's it. The, uh, like I said, the Neurothrope, the zo sorry, the z wow. The Neurothrope is not doing anything because he's out of range. So mm -hmm. uh, we're foregoing that psychic phase. Uh, are, you, actually, are you running can anywhere? Can it smite? I probably can. It's within 18. They're not visible though. Uh, From the obscuring there. Are you uh, touching? Yeah, right. Yeah. Can it rod? I'm not touching. With the character? It's a character. Mm. Oh, rod. I totally forgot about rod. Do you want something to rod? Lol. Um, no, we'll have to do rod later. That was fine. I was planning on rodding with them, but you tie them up for combat and you yeah. can't fall back in action. So, yeah. uh, no rod this turn. Mm. Fuck, he's not doing well. <laughs> we'll be back in the shooting phase. Boo. Here we go. All right, shooting and charge. We're gonna run right through the whole thing because we only have one unit to shoot. So we are gonna shoot with the Exocrine in combat with the Scarabs in yep. the near left-hand side of the table. Yep, stage that, left. Stage <laughs> left. 
so we we're just doing our double fire into yep. you. That's fine. So, so you minus one to hit because combat. Yep. So fours, and I'm not Kronos, so I can't reroll ones. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And then twos. twos. The scarabs. Of course, we roll a one. A AP a bunch. It's minus three and, and three flat three damage. Flat so three damage. All, they're all dead. They're all cool. Dead. Yep. Uh, I'll, yep. Pull those out of the way. I'll, uh, yeah. all right. Yep. <laughs> No, not the scarab. <laughs> yep. Cool, that's that. Uh, 45 right. points to absorb a turn of firing from the Exocrine and Killer Warrior. I'm happy. Yeah, it's a good, <laughs> it's a good use of that. Uh, right, we're gonna charge here. Uh, I don't I even know what it is. Gonna... Overwatch? Yeah. Jeez, I don't even know if we can make it with a five. Well, so they're, they're overwatching into the Homogaunts. Um, I believe so. I'll just measure how many there are. What do you mean how many there are? In range. 12 inch range, man. The Reapers. So uh, does that matter? For Overwatch, yeah, range matters. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I thought it was literally just the whole unit can just fire. No, you got to be in range with your weapons. Wow. So yeah. hey, there you go. If that if that um, ever comes up, remember that that you're actually big units. It actually affects the range. Yeah. Because so it just says only... makes a shooting attack, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Which means you got to worry about yeah, range. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So there's 18 of them in range. It's gonna be 36 shots. Sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, while you're doing that, while I'll doing just that. I'll roll my Gene Stealer charge as well. So, I'm... which is charging first, Gene Stealers or Dharmakaran? Uh, Gene Stealer, is not charging them. Okay. So, in that case, the Doomstalker is going to overwatch the Gene Stealers as well. With its yes, they do. With yeah, its, yeah, with yeah, its with Sentinel it. construct ability. Yes. So uh, that's an ability that because eight. he's got a Cryptech near no a built-in data sheet ability. Okay, so within in six inches from a, any other, he from, can he can overwatch. overwatch. Like cow. Yeah. Yeah. So it's great or good, basically. So any unit within six of the Doomstalker can overwatch as though it was charged. Yes, yes. Well, the Doomstalker can overwatch for it. And I can't pick up dice. Well, as though it was charged, but it's not being charged. Yeah, exactly. As though. So we need a seven. Yeah. Need a seven on the Gene Stealers. Watch me roll an eight. I roll an eight! There you yeah. go. <laughs> I'm, I'm still good. pulling out dice. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, sorry. Actually, um, I can't do what I wanted to do. Because I can't get through here because I can't fit. Yeah. I want to charge Scorpex, but I can't, right? Okay. That's a question, not a statement. Um, will you ignore terrain when you're moving? So if you get But I have to, to land, I can't it. land on a... The right. rule is, it's like a flyer, right? You can't have your base yeah, landing on yeah, terrain. Yeah. So technically I need to be here, which I'm pretty sure is a 12. I mean, you can roll it if you want. Like I can't overwatch with destroyers. And they're out of range of the Doomstalker, so I couldn't have selected them for it. Yeah, okay. Well, so I'm just going to try that then and just try yep. for a 12. No, nope. we got a five. Cool. Jeez, we wouldn't have even made it anything, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to overwatch with the, the Gas Reapers now. Yep. Hitting on sixes. Yep. Now, I could use disintegration capacitors here to make them wound on sixes, as, like sixes just hit and wound, which I... They're wounding on threes anyway. Strength five, minus two. What's your save on them? Uh, I'd be five. So nothing. No, so I'd actually be... It'd be a four, because I'm, so I'm in cover. Yeah. Yeah, so they didn't go back to sixes. Yeah. Um, Rather I'll, than I'm no not going to spend the CP here. It's not worth it. <laughs> oh my god. All right. It's so good. It is, yeah. Why can't I roll well? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of these. I knocked that one over. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, a six. There we go. And these are wounding on threes. There you go. Didn't need to spend the CP because I wounded with everything. Alright, so, so sixes. Good thing I put all my buffs on it. Yeah. One. All right, two. 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 So three, four, five, day. Cool. I'll take it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And then the Doomstalker. Now you how many models do you have in that unit? Uh fifteen. So it's six shots straight away. There's yep. no no it's got blast. Six shots. Hitting on the sixes. Okay. There you go. What? Wounding on twos. twos. There you go. And then five up invulns, because Gene steals. Five up invo. No, Oop, and then dead. five up, oh, it's damage. Oh, uh, damage first one. Four. So five up. No, one's dead. And then the second one is two. So you could, doable. Oh, oh so close. And then the two shots from the gas flares in the front, sixes. Are they in range? Hits, yep. I measured it a moment oh, ago. Okay, right. It's 24. Yep. Um, and then wounding on a three. Oh, uh, on a four. Sorry. Yeah, four. four. So nothing. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. Wow, you still rolled us another six to hit though. I did, yeah. yeah that's crazy sixes. 
Doom All Stalkers, right. man. They're good for Overwatch. Not good for shooting on their own, but in Overwatch, brilliant. <laughs> we'll move everything in and be back into your Nids charge phase. <laughs> Woo! We're, we're going to try. Uh, yep. So I haven't been able to get as many models as I wanted to in with my pile in just due to the fact that I rolled a weak charge. But there's a good chance they're going to wipe them anyway. Yeah, um, we're going we're gonna to stack some buffs here. So Yeah, you've got um, a, a whole bunch of stuff going off on them. Yeah, yeah. it's, 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 it's going to be pretty nuts. So we're going to start here. So we've got... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Seven. Attacking. So, so they get what? Four attacks base, right? Yep. So it's seven times four. You're asking some... a question or are you... I'm, I'm asking the audience. Everyone tell us, what's seven <laughs> times four, fam? <laughs> Pretty sure it's 21. No. No? <laughs> I told you guys it's 21. It's 28, isn't it? I mean, you can roll 21 dice if you yeah. want. I want to roll 28, everybody. <laughs> I'm not even counting. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know why you've made three lines. I don't you know why I made three lines. <laughs> Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 26, 28. Okay. All right. So, I'm spending one CP for Relentless Flurry. So, this double exploding sixes. They've mm. also got sixes to wound. I mean, yep. sixes to hit are wounding. Yep. They're within six inches of the Broodlord. So, they're hitting on twos. Yep. So all that, remember all that, because <laughs> that's what's happening. So it's twos to hit. All right. So, so let's. Are there any rerolls of one? Uh, well, there will be, because well, I get to reroll everything. Right, of course. So I'm just going to take all the sixes. So go grab me the sixes, please. Right. Yep. So this this is where it gets a little bit convoluted. So they're wounds. So they're also double exploding. So it's one, okay. two, three, four, five, six. So yep. I need twelve dice. So then we'll put that there. Yep. So and they're also six wounds already gone through. Yep. Right? So now I'm going to pick up all this and I'm going to do it all over again. So you're just going to fishing for sixes? I fish for sixes. Cool. Fishing for sixes. Yep. This is before you roll these ones, because these ones won't explode sixes, but sixes for these will still auto wound. So no, they've just hit. I can't, oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. So they're the gotcha. exploding hits. So they're just hits, so you don't need to roll four, and you're fishing for more sixes. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. So I've cool. nearly made up my hit pull just in explodings. Yep. Wow, okay, that was awesome. So now there's... How many more? Uh, another five? Uh, any more sixes? No. So another five, so that's another ten, another ten dice there. Yep. And then we're hitting on two, so we take out the ones. Cool, so you don't need to roll for these to hit, they're just extra no. hits. So they're hits, cool. they're my wounds, right? So yep. now I take all of this in the dice tray, and then I take all my extras, which I feel was more. The, ten, <laughs> 10 and 12, right? Yeah. So that's 10, yeah. and that's 12. That's 22, plus whatever was there, plus... Look, yeah. it's just, it's, it is what it is. Yep. So now I'm on fours. Whoo! A lot of sixes there, but also a lot of ones and twos. So sixes are really good, because so, that's just auto-dead, because it's AP4 at six. Yes, yeah. yep. wound. So are there any re-rolls for the wounds here? No. Okay. So we'll take the sixes out. So ones, twos, and threes, I'm pulling. Yeah. Oh, sorry, everyone. Use this. This is hard to do. <laughs> I'll get you ones and twos as well, actually. Yep. Sixes. All right. That's another six. Get rid of that three. Cool. All right. So it's two, four, six, eight, nine are auto dead. Cool. Nine are dead. Nine are dead. And then you need to make that. In saves. At minus one. So All right. Five. So five. Oof. I think you did it well. God damn it. So. The whole unit. Is they're all passed. No, the unit's dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine ten, eleven. If I oh, perfect! So I'm going to reroll one. <laughs> oh, god damn it. To keep the unit alive. All right. It's worth it. Come on! Yes! <sighs> that's, so, that's just to be clear, that was seven gene stealers. Seven that's, gene stealers with a one CP strike. Okay, look, mm. every single. Oh, there was two main buffs on that unit. Yep. But. If you could get 20 of them, or even if you could get 14 or 15 into combat with, say, um, Deathwing Knights. Yep. And you do the same thing, statistically, that like five Deathwing Knights are dead. Yep. Doesn't 100%. matter about their one-ups, they're going to roll enough ones based on number of attacks that they're gone. Yep. So in this situation, um, 
I've now taken a pretty big primary objective. Um, center of the board is good control. He cannot now um, they bring cannot them back. come back. There's no way for them to come back because the entire unit's wiped. Yeah. That's why I spent that CP on the five. Yeah. Even though normally you wouldn't, because it's keep that one last one alive, because I could probably bring the whole unit back or very close to it. And so now I'll just do my consolidation. Uh, yep. Just kind of. So you need to end closer to the uh, destroyers. Ooh. Ah. Oh, yep. 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 So I'm just gonna stay there. Cool. Because I can. I've got enough guys touching the cover that I can take on them. Cool. All okay. Right. Are you interrupting here? Against what? One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight hormigons. How many attacks they got? You got two each. No. Are you sure? Have they got exploding crap? No, they don't have exploding stuff. Then fine. No, the, no. The, my warriors are before. I now essentially have the freedom to put all of my reanimation buffs on those warriors. Okay. So, um, yeah, no. So that drops me that one CP. Two six? Yep, I'm on three. Yep, and then I'm now I'm gonna spend uh, two CP. So one is hyper adaptation to turn, Oh, actually, no, sorry, that doesn't work. Um, uh, just one CP to make Scything Talons minus one. Cool, I'll take it. All right. So the reason I'm not, I'm not spending any, any CP to interrupt is because he doesn't have the number of attacks to kill them. Um, I'm confident that I've got 19 12. of them there now. It'll be fine. 14. 15. 16. Oops. I lost one. 16. All right, four. Cool. Not a terrible roll. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See, sometimes maybe you just need a little bit of a win. But yeah. we are strength three, so we're fast. Yep. That's all right. That's pretty good for Hormogons. Yeah. And it's minus one, yeah? Yeah, it's minus one, yeah. Cool. So it's fives. So fives. Oop, I've lost one. Cool. So I lose three. <laughs> three die. Uh, and then those three will try and reanimate. And fours. <laughs> Rerolling ones because they're warriors. <laughs> there you go. So one dies. <laughs> See, this is what they should be doing. That. So yeah. essentially that'll kill, uh, I'm going to say, hmm, where do I need to be with them? because warriors have this, this weird movement jank that shows up. So that'll kill the three. That'll be one, no, he can stay there. It'll be one, two, whoop, and three. And then the two, sorry, I'm knocking your model around. Yeah, right. The two that reanimate will go here and over here. So it's just pushing them that way a little bit further. Yeah. It's, um, it's a weird thing that I think GW needs to address is the fact that if you're in combat, this is just my personal opinion, if you're in combat, you need to take models from the front line. I think you should. That, yeah, that, that that's makes just how it works. Like yeah. you in combat, just combat, shooting, take them where you want. But in combat, mm. if you're being attacked here, removing models back here is dumb. Yeah. Um, and nine times out of 10, it's still gonna uh, help the player. So if we're in this situation where uh, Necron Warriors are being buffed by Cryptex and Overlords and stuff like that, you take it from the front line, the unit is still receiving the buffs. Yeah. So you're not actually losing much, but it's, yeah, and that, it, it, you know, you, whatever, yeah, whatever. Cool. Anyway. Would you like to fight with your Brutalord? Brutalord, yes, yes. So, so we uh, forgot to roll this one on camera in the charge phase, yeah. but the Brutalord over here was just charging into the Scarabs. We rolled it off camera and, and charged him in because it's such a small one but that's just happening in here, fighting through the window into the scarabs in there. Yep. Twos. Yep. Good. And then, oh, good. Shrink five. Threes. I think. Uh, six is a minus five and damage yep. three. And the normal ones are? Uh, minus three and three damage. Minus three and three damage. Everything's three damage. Yeah, Everything so goes straight through. It's what, four of them? Uh, yep. So it'll kill one. No, so, so how many attacks went through? Four? Yeah. All at three damage? Yeah. Well, three. one's at five and the other at three. Right, so, so the they're not is, all dead. The problem is, is that they should have been done. To how many? What four went through? So I'm going to roll a dice, see which one went first. If I roll a five or a six, I'll re-roll. If I roll a one, it was the five. All right, so the five went first, and the five damage kills the one on two wounds. Okay. So then the, the next two three damages kill the next one, and then one of them is left on one wound. So that's why it matters the order of the different damage weapons here. No, no, so it's like sixes to wound do more. Yep. So the six. But six then to you, wound, can't, you don't get to choose where that goes. That's why I had to roll the dice to randomize the order they went in. So in this scenario, what should have happened is you should have rolled each attack individually. To see if I got sixes. To see if the sixes came through. Yes. So all I did there when I rolled is I went, well, there's four. I need to randomize which one of those happened first. After that, doesn't really matter. Yeah. Which one happened first? I rolled the one which corresponded to the five. And if I had rolled a five and six, I would have re rolled it because they're So they're still alive. Two of them are still alive. Yeah. Unfortunately, that one was the worst possible result that for the order they went in. That was so dumb. 
Um, I will remove the models in a moment, um, mm. I'm just because I don't want to reach into terrain and fiddle around with it. And I guess I'll run through some attacks back. Yep, give um, me. The two scarabs that are left are going to attack you back with eight attacks. Sorry, that yep. was all very wrong. Okay. That was all very wrong. So... They're D3 damage. They're D3 damage, not three. Okay. I'm thinking of the monstrous claws on the hive tower. Right. That's fight three. So in that case, do you want to roll the first one? And we'll just we'll just ignore all of that and we'll fix this up. <laughs> Redo this. So there were four of them that went through. So roll them so one at a time. No, it's five that went through. Oh, sorry, there's four that went through. Roll and one, one, one was a six, which is flat three. Right. So that one was the one that happened first. Would you say that one? So that yep. kills that, that one. That kills that one. All right, all right. So the first D3 is one. one. Lol. Next, okay. next one. Also one. Jesus Christ. And the last one, three. So it'll kill one more scarab base. Which leaves two of them on full wounds. Okay. So there's no real major difference. Uh, I've got three extra wounds there now. Okay. Which is kind of cool. So now I'll roll the two of them attacking back. Yep. Hitting on fours. That was an alright roll. Dude. That uh, was and crazy. Then, yeah. Wounding on fives. The toughness five. Yep. Wounding on fives. Whew. Two wounds. No AP though, because scarabs. No AP. Well, still only three. Up. Actually, no. It's it's four up. But yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay, cool. that's good. Thank God. Um, yeah. <laughs> Moving along here. The warriors here are going to pile in like so. Mm -hmm. I'm only going to get the front sort of two ranks in, yeah. which is perfectly fine. Um, doesn't really worry me too much. Cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them attacking. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Hitting on three. Threes, yes. Because uh, you mean my will be done? Didn't you mean my will have done that? Yes, my will be done. So threes. So, oh, threes. Two. <laughs> now, now you're making me question my own No, rules. no, because they're, they're, they're four. W's. They're threes to start, okay, so they so go up to twos. twos. Yeah, yeah, right. No, no reels of one here because Necrons, not a thing. Good. Yeah, it's good. Shouldn't have it. No. Um, wounding on threes. Yep. All right. A bunch of wounds. Uh, so... No AP though. It's just... I'm just hitting you. Uh, so fives. Another four die. And oh, then my sixes. Nope. No. Wow, cool. man, I can't save sixes. <laughs> so four die. Yep. And that's got to be it for combat, doesn't it? Yep, that's it for Nid's turn. Mm. That's, that's pretty good. You wiped the unit of warriors. That was actually pretty good. This, um, you, you've got this bit of the board here. I need to do something about these gene stealers. Yeah, so it actually, um, it actually denies you uh, five points. Um, six points. Why six? Banners. Oh, banners. Yeah. Woo, look at that. But it denies five on primary because now we're holding well, three each. Uh, yeah, we're holding three yeah. each. So it was a good play. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, depending how next turn goes, it's... I'm still climbing that uphill battle at the moment. Yep. Um, yeah. And I need to try and push this next turn to, to really yeah, make it as uphill a battle as I can. Not not having the Scarabs gone was, yeah, bad. Not having Hive Guard being able to shoot twice next turn is going to be uh, really horrendous for me. So. Mm. Yep. We'll be back next one, turn two. Well, lost a unit of warriors, but we're continuing our advance <laughs> across the whole board. Um, playing pretty aggressive this, this time around. Yeah, I love it. We discussed last time, I'm not really an aggressive player. No, you're not, but at all. I'm doing it here. I like it, it's fun. Yeah. Um, the Immortals have just popped straight out, um, putting some shots into the Gene Steels, and just pushing my screen a little bit further this way, because I know you've got the Trigon coming in this turn, or yep. next turn. Um, the objective here is still held by the Locust Destroyers, so that's all good, it's all chill. Reanimator's moved forward, putting its buff onto the Destroyers this time, giving them a 4-up reanimation. It's not Dynasty Core, it's just Dynasty Models, nice. so it can. That's good. I had to check that, because I thought it was Core. It's yeah. Um, the Cryptek is hanging around, giving its um, aura for the Protocols, which is Undying Legion this turn, so I'm getting to re-roll a reanimation roll which will be good for the destroyers. They um, will need it. They will need it. <clears throat> Doomstalkers stayed still, obviously. Doesn't want to move. These destroyers have stayed still because they're perfectly happy where they are. 
Um, the other reanimators just shuffled forward a bit. The warriors have stayed in combat because there's no reason for them to jump out. Yep, and just a quick one. Uh, yep. We don't need to run morale here because we're within synapse of yep. everything. So nice. we're all good. Um, my will be done went on the warriors and the lich guard. Again, the lich guard I don't think will matter, but on the off chance that you get some crazy jank charges in next turn, they've got it there. Yep. Transcendent Katan continued his push forward, um, definitely eyeing up those warriors, trying to get onto that objective and just mess up your, your big bugs back there. Yeah, it's gonna happen, unfortunately. I got nothing to yep. counter that. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's there, because all the psychic stuff is it's here. over there, <laughs> yeah. Um, it, weirdly enough, he's the best counter to your three-up invuln zoanthropes, because I've got a, a stratagem that's ignoring ignore invuln. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, but that said, I think I could have sent him towards them. This is better. Yep. That's where he wants to be. Love it. I also spent a CP, the one that I got this turn. Okay, so how many CPs did you spend? A whole bunch. Uh, this turn, one, so far. Okay. There you go. Yeah. You, got, you got yours back, that's it, done for the rest Damn of the Damn it, I want to actually get it. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> you, know, you love rolling dice. So. <laughs> <laughs> I spent that on Strange Echoes to switch out Sky of Falling Stars for Transdimensional Thunderbolt. Now that you don't have a bunch of units with a bunch of models, it's just better to have single shot, big model wound bombs. Yep, makes sense. Speaking of which, do it. Psychic, not psychic, Katan powers. Uh, what? Uh, Trans-dimensional problems. Exactly. Boom. So, uh, <laughs> Antimatter Meteor, rolling 1d6 um, on a 3 to 5, it's 3, and on a 6, it's 3 plus d3. Okay. Closest, closest visible unit. Show me that one twos. Oh, nope. Oh, it's damn. three mortal wounds on the warriors. Three mortals on the warriors. So, sixes. Oh, oh, I saw the sixes too. Just annihilates a warrior in Another like, warrior dead. Just and... takes its molecules and just rips them out of reality entirely. It's gone. I eat like whatever little portion of the hive mind soul is in the warrior is consumed and like probably tastes pretty bad. So you wait fam. But when yeah. we have two squads of nine, these issues aren't problems. So much hive mind soul. It's <laughs> going to be great. So much better. <laughs> and then uh, Transdimensional Thunderbolt. I'm going to pop it straight into the Exocrine because I can't target a character. Yep. Um, roll a d6 on a 2-up, it's d3 mortal wounds. Cool. Nice. So d3 mortal wounds in the exocrine. Just one. Hey! And then... Whee! What do you mean then? Roll 1d6 for each other enemy unit within 3. On a 4-up, it's one mortal wound. So, so it'll just be the prime. The prime, yeah. Nope. nope. Cool. Love it. Um, and then because I don't really need to spend a lot of CP elsewhere, I'm going to spend one here to randomly do another power. Yeah, okay. Number four, which is... I think it's one of your lame ones. Cosmic Fire. Roll a d6 for each enemy unit within nine, which is just the warriors. God damn it. On a four up, it's d3 mortal wounds. I need the warriors to stay alive. <laughs> no. <nothing>. Yay! <laughs> all right. A bit of a dud, but that's all right. I'm happy with, with oh, using the warriors it. warriors would die on the charge anyway. Well, he's definitely charging in. We're going to be doing some, some big... He's not bad in combat. No he's sweat. very good in combat. Yeah. Otherwise, that's going to be it for things to cover my movement phase, I do believe. Yep. So we'll be right back with Necron's shooting. Oh, yeah. All right, it is Nid's death phase. We've got shooting all over the place. <laughs> Nid's, death phase. Nid, Nid's death phase. You're going to die all over the place. It's going to be great. Oh, right. uh, I'm going to start by putting two, these two like, heavy locust destroyers into the Dumbakaran. Oh, yeah. Um, both of them, they're going to be hitting on threes, re-rolling ones, because of hatred everything. Yep. Re-rolling that one. Hey, I forgot. They didn't move last turn. They would have been minus one through the dents. Oh, they would have. It wouldn't have mattered because I rolled fives and sixes to hit. But you're right. That's a fair point. But it might have mattered in the roll because in sometimes the, it like does sometimes, the ethos, yeah. you know, changes shit. Yeah. The warp exists. It does. Sure. It does. Well, you don't know it doesn't. That's fair. <laughs> uh, Dark matter, right? What? Sure. I'm gonna. Well, anyway. sure. I'm gonna spend one CP <laughs> on techno oracular targeting, taking me down to one left. Wow. Just to um, make one of those automatically wound. How much You know what? I'm not going to. I wouldn't. Because I've got more shots. I would yeah. use it on a later shot if this yeah. goes badly. Yeah, that's a smart way to do so it. So instead, I'm just going to roll for threes. Cool. All right. Okay. One wound and one not wound. Five up. Oh, dice gone. Nope. No! CP! No! I saw the five. <laughs> I saw the five too. So you got 18 wounds on a Dharmakiran? I have 18 wounds on a Dharmakiran. Oof. Only, only five? Four. Five, yes, that's five. Yep. Sixes, here we go. All right, cool. Okay. So you've got 14 wounds left. Yes. So I'm going to put the other unit in, yep. into it. And we they are, are minus, minus one. one. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're hitting on fours, yep. but with hatred everything. Yep. That's three dice, it's way too many. Sorry, man. Way too many Did dice. you see the one and two in G? No, it's fine. It's fine. I, don't I mean, know. I could have done, it's, but... It's, it's fine. It's fine. 
Right, Damn it! There you go. <laughs> it worked out better it, it, it for worked Actually, out better. Been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It would have been the same when we rolled the one here. Yeah. Threes. Uh, threes to wound. Uh, now. Now you're gonna because spend CP. because one of those failed and you're still on 14. This is where I spend a CP to make yep. one of them automatically wound. Yep. Um, but I'm not going to spend the two to do the whole reroll all wounds because I just don't think it's worth it here. Okay. Yep. I've got the CP reroll if I need it. Well, you got still might... got this going in. Exactly. As well. Yeah. Yep. So two wounds. Two fives. Nope. Ah. Oh. And no more wow, CP. Wow. One and a two, man. Yeah. Jesus. It's not great. So you've got 14 wounds left. Come on, this can do it. Bullseye. Just roll more once. Why, why would you not roll more once? Because you've got to roll your... I might want to re-roll one of the damage rolls. Ah, roll okay. Separately. Uh, so that's three, three five, six, seven. seven. Exactly half your remaining wounds. Come on. One oh. again. So you've got six. eight left. Yep. So All right. Three, D, three. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? You've got eight left, so... Ooh, wow, wow. All right, so we only suffer another three. So you're down to five wounds remaining. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Ugh. So, what I think I'm going to do next, three wounds, uh, five wounds left, which is potentially, yeah, potentially chargeable, potentially mincible with some destroyers. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw... Oh, you're toughness seven, aren't you? Yeah. I'm going to throw the Doomstalker's main gun into you, and yep. the small front ones into... The Gene Steelers. Yep. So the main gun, D6 shots. Six shots. Oof. Boss. Didn't move, so I'm hitting on fours. So I'm not through dents there. Yeah, just. Straight past it. Yep. Ho! Oh. What? Oh my god. Oh. This is strength 10 minus 5. Yep. I want to roll good. Five. So threes to wound. Yes. There we go. So four wounds, minus three. Okay, minus, five. Minus, five, uh, minus four or five, sorry. What the hell is going on? Oh. Now you've got five wounds left, yeah? Ah, oh, it's dead. Yeah. Is it D6? So it's, so it's nine, yeah, D6 each. Oh, okay. It's nine. Oh, look, I mean, maybe I should do them one at a time. Watch you roll your invul, uh, your feel no pains. And oh, actually, yeah, so, so what's that? So, so it's nine. Yeah. If you survive this, I'm gonna be annoyed. I should nine sixes. Time. No, it's dead. Not even one! What the fuck? Oh my God, this is... Ah. Your big bugs shouldn't. I mean, look, I've teched pretty hard to deal with big things with these three units. Doesn't matter. Statistically, I should be rolling at least a bunch rolling, of fives. Like, I should I'm be rolling much, many more involves. Yeah, it's, I've seen you roll involves with this thing. I know, and it's it's, it's so funny because we literally were talking about this on our Patreon episode. Yeah, yeah. Where it has not died from shooting, and and I said it is, as well. I said yeah. it on the thing. I go, this will catch me, and the next time yeah. we play it, it will yep. die, and it died, yep. and. Whatever, it's my own fault. My own fault, but we're coming back. We're coming back and yeah. So the two front guns then into the Gene Steelers. All right, hit me. Uh, You're on ooh. fire? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All of four shots. Nice. Hitting on fours. Fours. Okay, perfectly average. Two sixes, two ones. Fours. Nice. Two wounds. Dude. Minus one. So Minus fives. one. So I'll actually... Yeah, it's still fives, because then I fire save, in cover, drop to a four, minus one, goes a five, yep. five. Cool, there you go, there's your fives. There's my fives! Yep. <sighs> so angry right now, it's not the five. I mean, actually, it's... it's potentially it's, better it's for this. Potentially yeah. better because of points and stuff, but... Yep. Anyway. Um, I'm going to throw the reanimator into the gene stills. Yep. The reanimator's attacks aren't bad. 12 inches, assault three, strength six, minus two, one damage. Strength six minus two. Yeah, they're not bad. It's like a like a mega staffs of light. That's cool. Yeah, which is strength five minus two. Yeah. Um, strength six. Six is a good profile. Yeah. It is. It is. Hitting on fours. Because got two of them. Very nice. Average. Why can't you roll like that and on the threes, stuff that's not important? Yeah, I know. Threes to wound. There you go. Two wounds at your five up involves. Is there a minus? Yeah, sorry, minus two. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. Uh, so, so one goes through. Yep. Damage one. Yeah, just damage so one. Six. Uh, so hey. Five actually, because it's got catalyst on. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. All right, so moving along, I'll do the Staff of Light from the Technomancer. Assault three, strength five, minus two, damage one. So it's like the same yep. kind of thing. Yep. But this time, hitting on threes. Technomancer hitting on threes, not twos. No, not twos, just threes. Okay. I'm not, I'm not Space Marines. It's not like my characters are actually good. Okay, fair enough. I'm really salty about that, actually. Like, oh, you're salty? About about Necron characters, not measuring up Space Marines? Oh, yeah. 
No, well, about characters in general, not maybe yeah, yeah, Space yeah. Marines, but yeah. Um, and then the Immortals. Now, what? only six of them are going to be able to see the Gene Stealers. So only six of them are going to shoot But the it's Gene Tesla Steelers. and it's double exploding, everybody. We all just saw how good double exploding was on my end, so... Yeah. So, yeah, Assault 2. So there's six of them, so 12, 12 shots. shots. Cool. Now hitting on threes, and I'm looking for sixes. Okay. One Not six. two, or three sixes. Okay. okay. Not terrible though. Yeah, three sixes. So I drop four and then gain six, so I'm gaining two. Yep. So 14 hits out of 12 shots. Nice, love it. Good stuff. And then threes to wound, because strength five. Yep. Oh, okay. And then these now do not have They're any no minus, AP, right? So you're gonna be only fours. But you're gonna have to roll them for the ones that are in cover. Yeah, so I'll roll four at a time. You got four of them in cover there? Very yeah, nice. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so now you got so one in cover. One. Alright, none in cover. <laughs> uh, lol. Ah, oh, sorry, I need to feel my pains. Um, oh, of course, yeah. So, right, so uh, their, their saves, that's other fails. Yep. So then I'll just roll these. So one of those is a pass. One of those is a pass, okay. And then these are fails. So as these well. are sixes? Yep. Uh, okay. okay, there you go. But then they would fail anyway. Ooh. Sixes. Yep. Nope. So five die. Five die. Cool. Bit of a convoluted way to organise that. Yeah, that was a bit awkward. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Um, we'll pull those out shortly. I don't think we've got anything else to shoot on this side of the board. Moving over here. Do you even have anything on this side of the board? We've got a reanimator, which is out of range of anything, and a staff of light, which it's also out of range, range of anything. And they got no guns, right? They got no guns. Yeah. So that's going to be it for shooting. We do have some charges though, so we'll be back uh, very shortly in the Necron charge phase. Time to chop up all the little griblies left on the board. Got a warrior over there that's cruising for bruising. Yeah, he's just like, he's... come at me bro! So we've... <laughs> so we've measured it up. The Transcendent Katan needs A6 to get into charge. I will overwatch him. Nice, do it! Yeah. Come on! So D3, yes, yes. D3 shots, give me three! One. Oh my good God. start, good start. Do you want to see if you have hat? Actually, uh, this is charge phase. No. Charge phase, yeah. So I can, yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. Okay. Hey! <laughs> Alright, so two CP so far. Oh! oh. <laughs> so two CP for nothing. Nothing! Uh, rolling a six to charge. Yeah, make him with a ten. Jesus. I'll move him in, I'll move him in in a moment. Okay. So he might be close enough to touch some other stuff once I pile in. Yep. And then the tr the destroyers here, the plasma site's gonna buff them up, gonna roid them out. Yep, roid days. And not roll a one, which is good. Damn it. So they've all got plus one attack and plus one strength. Okay. And they're gonna charge gene stealers. Yep. Making it in easily Oof. with a four. Oh yeah. Needing yeah. like a, a two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they will make it in. Yep. That's it for charges, so let's... Do you want me to do that you do that? Yep, I'll do that one. You move, just move them in, make sure they're still within six of the reanimator. Yep, that's easy. Well, we can just say that we did and yeah, it was. Yeah. We'll figure it out. So 10 inches gets this guy all the way over here. Now the reason that matters is because he's now close enough to the exocrine that when he pile consolidates after attacking, he can just tag them. If he was over here, he'd have to sort of shimmy his way around. He might not make it in all the way. Yeah. And it also means that because he's not touching the last warrior, so also, he can shimmy around. I just need a quick question. Is all characters can heroically intervene? I believe so. Yeah, so the you, you, prime is going to heroically intervene there to all right. block you from doing that. I'll kill the warrior and consolidate it around the prime. Uh, but yeah, enough? Big maybe, base? Maybe, maybe not. Are you touching him with the prime? Uh, yeah, yep. I am cool. now. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll kill the prime too. Let's do it all. Do it. Okay, so we're gonna start over here because this is where I'd be worried about Lockie interrupting because Gene Steelers could probably mince these. Yes. With all your buffs the on them. Buffs are still on them and everything, yep. so yeah. So now thanks to the reanim the, reanim the plasma site, yep. they do now each have an extra attack, which I'm going to add to my little dice pools up here. And then we'll start rolling them. So the threshers okay. are going to be hitting on threes, re-rolling ones thanks to hatred everything. Oh, that, the other one's your big one. Yep. yep. Re-rolling ones and they're going to be wounding on threes. Yep. So threes. Oh my god. Re-rolling ones. Really? Okay, so I drop one attack, two attacks. Oh, like I hate, and then I hate complaining about dice. It's bad, but man. But you're rolling it so it's, good. I come and I practice. Like the the risky rollers die. I just practice with them for hours, getting those sixes. That's what it is. I thought it like, would balance out by now, but like no. I, don't, I don't actually have a job. I just pretend I do, <laughs> and I sit under the desk, like just practicing rolling. Because that what it would is. make it better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, threes. Threes. <clears throat> okay. 
That kind of evens it out. A lot of twos there. Definitely does not even anything out. It should have been half that as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, You're going to so be five. Fives. Minus three. <coughs> cool. And then these are two damage apiece. Yes. You're going to need to be... Sixes. No, no, no. You're going to roll them two at a time. Why? They're all they're, it they're they're two, one two damage apiece. So you've got to roll them two at a time to kill each model or save each model. But there's still one wound on my end? Yes, so it wouldn't but matter. each one is two damage, yeah? Yeah, but I still think you, the maths is still work. Anyway, I, don't, I, mean, I, you, I didn't, roll, you a didn't roll a single six. So we're arguing for literally yeah. no reason. Yeah, so that's what? Uh, four of them did? Uh, five, yeah. five of them did. Four of them. Uh, it was two damage each. I yep. rolled six dice, so three dead. You rolled eight dice. Four dead. Did I roll eight dice? Yeah. Okay. It was at least four, it may have been five. But I think it was only four. No, because I saved three. Yep. Yeah. It was six, it was, it was, it was three. So I should have rolled them separately because no, no. now we're, now it's it was three. Because I rolled, you, six went through. Yep. Six wounded. Yep. Right. Oh, then you rolled five. Three I saved. Yes. And three yes. failed. Yep. So six damage rolls, so three are dead. Gotcha. Three are dead. Cool. Now he's good at math. Now the big one. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you got to, you got to. <laughs> so hitting on threes. Not minus one? Uh, no, not minus one. It's just there. Make one additional thing. Yeah, it's just the things. big thing, which big is thing. times two, is not minus one. The, the other one's a plus one attack. Right. And then wounding on twos. There you go. Yeah. Fives. Nice. And these are three damage. Oh, cool. These are three damage each, so you got to roll three dice. At uh, once? Just once, yeah. Dead. So one, one more is dead. Cool. All right, and then they'll... Just consolidate this way so they can take the, well, contest the objective with you, I guess. Because there's four of you and four of me, we're both obsec. You're obsec? Necrons across the board. Oh, bed. of course, because of your thing. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 so right. So they'll, right. they'll be shimmying around, we'll fix all that up later. Um, Would you uh, like to interrupt using 2CP? Um, you don't have many left. Yeah, I mean, look, I was probably thinking about doing it with the Prime just because. But I mean, Primes aren't great. You want to I mean, what, your strength, what, six? Uh, strength six, yeah. Toughness seven. Six attacks, etc. Five attacks, sorry. Oh, you just want to see what Gary can do? Gary, we should have started with actually mentioning the fact that oh, my yeah. prime is named Gary. It's named Gary. Um, icon, You're welcome. I icon from our Discord named uh, the named prime. It. Did you? Oh, icon, of course. Sorry, I, sorry. Icon's sorry. Like, icon I, asked I, what I don't know what this unit's called. <laughs> it's Gary. Gary! So it's Gary now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so, hey, let's just do it. Let's just, why not? I mean, look. Gary the Prime. We're, we're an uphill battle here. You gotta go big. You gotta go, you gotta, gotta swing for sixes. Uh, no, nah, I'm actually not gonna do it. No, all right, cool. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna put two attacks into the warrior and three into Gary. Yeah, do it, hit me. So two into the warrior, hitting on twos. All right, Love good it. start. Awesome. Wounding on threes. There you go, uh, AP minus four. Just what all your damage. <laughs> Thank you for that. One. One. One it's damage. just D6 damage. D6 <gasps> damage. No, roll six. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. All right. So the warrior's dead. Now, Gary. Uh, no, he's not. He's got one wound there. He's got two wounds left. He, ha he had one wound to start there. The, the, oh, you, the warrior. The warrior, yeah. This sorry, is Gary. sorry, 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 sorry. Warrior, uh, warrior's yes, dead. Warrior's he had dead. one wound. Otherwise, that would have been a CP reroll on the damage for sure. Yeah, yeah. The warrior like, needs to die. I'm like, the prime's got six wounds, man. There's no way. There's no way he's dead. Two's to hit. <clears throat> Very nice. Oh, Good what? lord. All right. Let's do that again with three to wound. sixes. Oh my god. Does the Tyranid Prime have an involve? I should have asked. No, he doesn't. Oh, no, nothing. Uh, this is what he does, though. He always, like, he, he goes I mean, big in combat. You. <laughs> no, him. Big in combat or nothing. Yeah. So, all right, cool. All right, so now I get yeah. to do my free attack. Yeah. Okay, that was a very good not use of four CP. Yeah. Uh, threes. Cool. And then fives and sixes. Nice. Two or minus two. Uh, four ups. Loving it. Wow. Cool. Um, but he can't consolidate a pile in there because of your base, so yep. he can't tag the exocrine. Love it. Which is good for you. Um, other combats. Yep. You, uh, you, you get to choose first. You would choose the Hormagaunts, presumably. But I did that. Oh. Do you want to choose the Hormagaunts because you would choose them normally anyway? 
Probably, yeah. yeah I mean, look, yeah. It, I it's guess, not going to matter too I mean, much. It really, actually, you know what? I'd probably just choose that. Because, no, that, because they've already fought, so you would choose the Hormogons to kill warriors. Yeah, but I mean, like, well, I'm going to kill a warrior and then you're going to get true, one back. Okay, so, so it's like... Do, do you want, Do you just want to... No, we'll, we'll, we'll do it, because it, I, then I get double round of attack. Oh, like, you know, it's fine. Yeah, cool. Um, eight attacks. Yep. Pause. <laughs> not with that rolls. Wow. So again, not going to play about dice, but, but that's... That... It's here. It's is it here. there? It's right that's, here. That's the state of what my rolling is right now. Yeah. You can't do much if you just roll tons and twos all the time. Yeah. Bloody hell. Uh, so the warriors <laughs> themselves are gonna gonna scooch, scooch forward and in. Yep. As as they do. I mean, do you even need to? No. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Still eleven of them. They're still hitting on twos. Yeah. Twos and threes. And then threes. Hit me. Hit me with your best There you go. Shot. Oops, sorry, man. Uh, fives. Yep. Good attempt. They're dead. But no cigar. Yeah. Oh. So, oh, feel, feel no pains. Nice. I could do it. You could. Hey. Oh. Oh, no, they're, oh they're exactly dead. Exactly. <laughs> Is that what happened over here with the warriors? I don't do the so it's annoying because actually that would have been really good if I had at least one to stay alive because it yep. would have stopped you from still moving forward. Yeah. Um, again, but, um, if there's unfortunately for that, they're getting all up in your, in your face. Oh, I'm not really worried about the objective, and no, I'm not worried about the other rooms either because all they do is psychic, and they can still do it in combat, which is great. I'm not worried about them. It's just screening. Yeah. I'm just expanding my footprint of you're not deep striking here. That's all this is. Really? Yeah. And you gotta stay back here a bit for coherency reasons. There you go. Cool. Cool. And then Jeez Dealers. Alright. Spinning one more CP. Oh, sorry, and Broodlord as well, who you would probably choose to fight first, yep. Before Scarabs. So a little see, bit a little bit away the place here because we're forgetting what combats are there, but this will be how it works out. Alright, waiting on two two? Strength six. I'm actually gonna check again. I think you're strength five. No, I know, but I don't know if the... No, the Rain Claws are user. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. The three. Right, so it's threes. Yeah. Yep. So we did it right the first time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Dude, so one's three damage. Yep. So Which one won't just kill. Dead. No. No. Oh. Because they're four wounds apiece. Right. And then... Oh, and, then and then just that'll one kill one. So one, one Scarab Swarm dies. I will roll reanimation protocols. I should have been rolling for it the whole time, because they all have it. Oh, my God! You, oh, oh, I thought you got one no, back. No. That would have been... That would have been rough. I would have, um, I would have actually flipped the table or yeah, just yeah. called it. I would have been like, I'm done, yeah. I'm done. So that scarab dies, uh, and then I'll, the other one will go into your hive guard there. Is it in there? Oh, yeah. You, you, you get to fight with the hive guard as well. I can't, be I can't believe that. Yeah. That's that's it. Uh, two, uh, and again, this is twice. And then fives and sixes. Last time this happened, I said, Nothing. "Hey, use the stratagem, which is voracious appetite, voracious appetite, where you can reroll all wounds for characters." And this time I'm like, I should totally do that. Yeah, do you have CP for it? And I did, yeah, of course I got CP for it. But I'm not gonna do, do, do you want to? I'm not gonna do it. Okay, cool. Uh, Gene Steelers, finally, we're back here. Uh, well, no, I'll do the Hive Guard. Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, I and mean, you'll get to fight with both of these now anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. I'll just do the Hive Guard. Because then if I kill you, I'm. Which you're on full health, so I highly doubt it. You feel like one of them there, though. Thoughts. Oh, when you roll. That's average. Uh, re rolling. Oh, very nice. Ah, uh, sorry, no, 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 no. That was on the G. It's a pity because that was a fantastic oh, roll. That was, I know, I was on the G. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's going to be threes, so that's that's handy. Well, it can't die. AP zero. Sixes. Nothing. I'm on one wound left. Still alive. Booyah! That's exactly exactly what I need there. So that's another turn of no shooting from the hive guard, essentially. I feel like I have a fight again somewhere. Well, I which, think you might. I, I think which, neither the only ones that one well, of the only armies that do. still have a fight twice, yeah. but... Would you um, like to fight with the Gene Steelers anyway, and I'll look up that strat for you. Done. Thank you very much. I will do that. So, we have four left. Oh my god. They it's, might just mince the destroyers. It's I'm not, not going to lie. But here. it's only three attacks now because we are less than ten models in the very unit. Very nice. Very nice. So, we only have twelve strats. shots. We're going to spend the one CP for exploding sixes. But we're re-rolling everything and sixes auto wound. So hopefully this will work. Here we go. Twos re-rolling once. Cool. I mean, t uh, sorry. Twos re-rolling everything. Uh, so we got two sixes. Right. So we have two sixes that cause four extra hits. Yep. 
Very nice. And they're those two auto wound. Now we're just gonna pick everything up. And we're gonna reroll the whole lot. That's one extra six with an extra two hits. And then we're hitting on twos. And then that's where we are. So, all right. Okay. So that's wound, that's that. Uh, sorry, we're wounding on fives. So that was horrid. That was horrid. Um, Right, there's four wounds at minus one and one at minus four. Cool, I've also found that strap for you, there it is. So check that out while I roll these saves. So minus one and one at minus four. So the four at minus one are gonna be saving on fours. Cool. So one's they, dead. These are one damage each? Yeah, the one's dead. All right, so one, one is dead and then... That's just minus four. Minus four, another wound. Yep. One damage, right? Yep. Cool. So one dies, uh, it'll be... I guess that one. And then I'm gonna try. Here, yeah, it's gonna happen. Reanimating now. And you're on fours. I'm on and fours. You can re -roll and I have one. a single reroll thanks to command protocols. That's what happens when you have an oh, optimized list not, against an optimized list. It's, it's not enough. It's dead. Ugh. And it stays dead. Oh, well, it's good because now I actually. I mean, look, I would. You'd. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was, sorry, it would still be contested, right? Because I actually. Are you. Gentiles are sec. Yeah. So you've got so it. I've got it's it. Yours. Yeah. 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 So, so even with the three the three models there, you've, you've still got the point. Oh, sorry, because only two, of course. Right, right, right. Even with three, you've still got it. Yeah. yeah. So cool. yeah, Adrenaline Surge. Uh, for the life of me, it's right at the back of the book. Yep. And I three keep CP. missing it. Three CP. Do you have three CP for it? I have four. Oh, after, sorry. After I had all... four and then I have one. Don't, don't, sorry, now I have zero. Right. Which is, you know, not great. So Broodlaw's going to attack again. I, again, sorry. You ha you started this turn with seven? Ha yep. So you spent four for in the in the charge phase, with all the overwatching and stuff. Overwatch ones. You overwatched, rerolled, spent two. Yeah, it's five. Five. Yep. And now you're using three. Yeah. And you had the command reroll earlier. Yeah. Cool. So I've got one, one left. Yep. I'm out of it. Cool. Uh, six sacks. Hopefully this will yep. go better. You're gonna presumably have to pile into the building. You know. What I mean. Yeah. yeah. We're, cool. we're there. Oh, really? Oh, that's not good. And then at threes. All right. There you go. It's dead. Well, no, D3. I've got one wound left. Oh, do you? Oh, okay. Yep. It's very dead. Yay! There you go. You got, you got your hive guard shooting. Got my hive guard shooting. Yeah. First turn. Turn three, they're going to shoot. Turn Sorry, turn two, they're going to take. Oh, yeah. I'll pop you brutal. Oh, God, I can't believe we're only at turn two. Jeez. He'll pile back out again. Um, he'll, he'll, pi he'll pile in, fight them, and then pi consolidate out again. Yeah? Yes, he will, of course, because it's his turn. Yep. Yep. Because he's going to cool. yeet up the board and probably get into these. Tesla biddies. Cool. Cool. Um, Could have gone yeah. better. Sorry. Could have gone worse for me. Could have gone worse. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, this is this is unfortunate. I was hoping to do take that objective off you. Yeah. Um, oh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh sorry. Did I lose any there? A whole bunch. How many did I lose? A whole bunch. Did I roll my five up fill no pains? Yeah. Yeah. You rolled. You rolled all this. All the catalyst saves. Yeah. Okay. And that's why most of them are still there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh, okay. cool. <laughs> uh, all right, and at the end of the turn, looking at um, Purge, you're only in two quarters. Yeah. So I'm going to be scoring four a whole points. four points for that as well. Mm. That, I hope that I hope that does get FAQ to be one point because if you get two points, for... it should be like engage where it's two slash three. Exactly. Or it's... even even if it's three slash four, maybe. Or one and it's two. It's th three for two and then four for four, something like that. It's unbalanced. Change it, GW. Yeah. Necron, well, I mean, for Necrons it's fine, but for yes, I guess for Necrons. have it, and it's it's pretty busted. Yeah. Anyway, right. that's going to be it for Necrons. Um, might have a couple of, of fiddling with consolidates, but otherwise, we'll be back. Turn two for the nids. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, there's definitely a game in it at that point. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so, uh, I've kind of screened over a little bit just to make sure that my smites go and my um, psychic powers from zone tropes are going to hit the warriors. The Exocrine has scooted over to Tufshi Obscuring so he can shoot anything. Yep. Which is probably going to be these guys. Yep. Um, Neurothrope has popped out just to pop out. Yep. Um, get some further ranges, smite, all that stuff. Broodlord has zooped over here. Yep. Unfailable charge into the Immortals yep. there. Good stuff. Uh, also, you've noticed that we have a few more models. Yes. Now, this is a bit of a new model syndrome. Trigon that is just finished. This morning. This morning. Yeah. The base was finished this morning. And I love the model. It's one of it's my cool. one of my favorite Tyranid models, barring the Dimecaron. Yep. Um, let's hope it does well. So yeah. it's popped up with 12 Devil Gaunts. They Gosh. are Temigants with Devourers. And we're going to see a potential use of... But Octaria Strat. Yeah, Octaria Strat again, mm. which you've already seen, but how it also can be used in a ranged environment. Yes. Um, in the command phase, we've also, when the Neurothroat was back, the Neurothroat gave its reroll, full reroll hits onto the Hive Guard. Cool. Uh, we've pretty much lost our synaptic buffs. Yep. It was a real shame because I kind of wanted to show you all like a bit of variety in terms of trying to take as much synaptic stuff as I could. Um, I mean, I haven't really killed killed stuff. I've just the warriors are dead, but otherwise you sign up. You just sort of moved. You've been forced to move away from each other. Yeah, just yeah. 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 It's kind of a good thing to show off because like, well, this can happen. Yeah, you know, you, you do need to keep your, your links together. Yeah, losing the big bugs. Look, to be honest, uh, I'm just going to tangent quickly. Tyranids have been reliant very heavily on Forgeword for a long time, and this Octarius book is actually going to change that. I've been writing lists with no Forgeword whatsoever. Yeah. Um, and it's it's going to be good. It's going to be gross in mm. ways. Uh, it's going to be shooting and it's going to be yuck. Yeah. But alas, we'll get to that later. Um, we'll just crack on straight into the psychic phase. Yep. So first thing we are going to do is we are going to spend one CP for. Oh, I'm supposed to check it. I still can't remember the name of that stratagem. But to enable them to do two psychic powers. Do you need to spend a CP to stop the X screen from moving in the movement? Ah, uh, that's in the shooting phase. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so it'll put me down to one. Yep. We're both on one. Both on one, I will be on none. Uh, now, you could say, hey, Lockie, you had two CP. Why not save that for single mild annihilation on the Hive Guard? But hey, if I don't deal with the troops, game's over. Yeah. So all the Hive Guard are gonna do is take out big heavy targets. They're already getting rerolls hit. Hopefully I just, I, I still can kill one. Cause they're only they're, got what, five wounds each? Six wounds each. Six wounds each. Yep. So we can do it. Cool. Um, right, so they are gonna smite the Warriors. The, yeah, four, your four, warriors. Four wounds each. Four wounds each. Yeah, that's right. Four yeah. So we're going to smite your warriors. Yep. Cool. Oh. D3. D3. Six. Three. So three. Three? Yep. And then we're, be... because now we can cast two, three. we're going to schmikic schmeem. That's psychic scream for all you people who don't know my terminology. So needing a five. Oh my god, we get a four. And we can't reroll ones because we're out of range. Mm. What a waste of CP. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Cool. And I've made you charge harder. Uh, yeah. Well, whatever. That's what you've got to do. Yeah. Yep. So now we're going to move on to Neurothrope is going to do... Smite. Yeah, smite on the yep. on the dudes. Six. 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 Nope. Oop. Wow. It's uh, not going well. Nah, twos and threes and ones is just where I'm living at the moment. Broodlord? Broodlord's not smite. So seven. Nope. nope. Horrendous, well. horrendous. Uh, I would have cast Catalyst from the Broodlord onto the Gene Stealers, but he cannot see them. Mm. So Speaking of things we cannot see, the Lictor's down here. Um, yes. We didn't mention him at all in the movement. Oh, in deployment, no, of course not. He's I do it every game. Every game. For all you Patreon members, you would see, we, we, we missed it him. for a whole turn. <laughs> Two turns, we just forgot he was there. <laughs> As it should be. Yeah, I had so, yeah, he's, book. Yeah, yeah he's, he's popped there, uh, he's yeah. rotting. He's rotting. Yeah. My first rod, uh, like I said, uh, all, all dependent on these. I didn't quite screen this corner enough. If I'd moved half an inch back this way, he wouldn't have been able to show up there. But yeah. I didn't. Yeah, so. and we spend a little bit of time trying to figure out which the best spot was going to be for all, for all these uh, bugs to pop up in. But yeah, mm. it is what it is. Cool. So that was a huge whiff and probably sealed the deal of the game. However, well, you could still come back shooting. You got a bunch of stuff to shoot. Maybe. We will be back. Shooting phase. Bug death. I mean, bug 
metal death from bugs. No, bug, 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 bug death sounds good. Bug to death. Me. <laughs> bug death. Sounds probably. good. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to caveat that I made a huge error in my psychic phase. I shouldn't have spent the CP on that to make it do double. One because the pouting got off, and two because I actually needed the one CP for double shoot stuff. Single minor annihilation on the exocrine, right? No, so no. Um, symbiotic devastation ah. is the one that enables the exocrine to act as if it was remained stationary in the shooting phase, yep. which I still am spending. Yep. But the other CP was going to be used on um, Flurry, which is the um, Octarius stratagem, which would make right. the Devil Gaunts explode, double explode on sixes. Yep. So me being a peanut... It may work in your favour here though, because Why? every dead warrior is going to make that charge harder. Yeah, but I, yeah, look, maybe we'll, we'll see, we'll see yeah. what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're going to start with the Exocrine. The Exocrine is yep. going, to going to shoot up here. Th those two destroyers? Uh, yeah. Can the Exocrine actually see the warriors? Ooh, maybe, maybe not. You, you, so you'd be looking past this. See here. So you, can you, because you'd be able to see that, that one through there. So yeah. Yes, yeah, you can. All right, so we're just going to, we're going to do this hammer and tongs. We're actually right. going to put both the. One at a time. Obviously. One at a time. <laughs> So you can target something else with the other one. Six. No, no, I'm doing all 12. Do you not just want to do one, see how it happens, and then maybe choose another target? Because um, you, you have to do them separately anyway, because after all reanimation protocols. Oh no, because it's a different no, the same attack, isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay, okay, all right, right, right. Let's do six and six. Yeah. Fine. So we do six into the warriors. Uh, so on threes. So this is because single minor annihilation, it fires its complete sequence. And then you no. fire it again. So not single minor annihilation. That's a stratagem no. to. Sorry, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> the um, the, the weapon thing. of the exocrine is the same with Tyrann effects. If it stays stationary, it can shoot its weapon twice. Yeah. So not not shoot double the number of shots. No. Not shoot twice at the same target. Just no. shoot, shoot the weapon twice. twice. And again, it's very ambiguous wording. It hasn't been FAQ'd. Yep. It's not like, there, there's just no clarification. Yep. So the way we've agreed it's played, we've done it before on the are. Patreon app. Yeah, we've said And this. we've said it before on our, on our own. You fire it and then you choose another target or the same target yep. and fire it again. Yes. So in a situation where if you are, if you knew you wanted to shoot the same target, i.e. if I didn't have this yep. current situation going on right here and, and there were definitely car uh, models I wanted destroyed, I'd go, look, both barrages are going into that unit. Let's just roll yep. a 12. The, There's no statistical difference. The issue here is that you might kill enough warriors to not be able to see them. Yes. So you can't select them as a target for the second shot. That. that, that so that so that's the flip side, because it's better in the most part, because it means you can choose different targets, you can do what you like. But in this specific scenario, it's actually better for, for me that you have to select it again. Yeah. And also, there has been a yeah. lot of contention about it, especially on the Turin Facebook page. Hey, Turin yep. fans, join that page. It's an amazing page, it's an amazing group. Billy from... Um, Greater, Greater Good Miniatures Games runs that page, and he's a legend. He's one of the admins there. He's, yeah, yeah, great bloke. So it's a good, it's a good page. But yeah, again, it's up in the air. Yeah. I'm sure there is a, a design philosophy behind how it should be played. We think it's this, but we don't know. It might not be. Yeah. This is why we've always played it. We'll continue to play it this way until there's an FAQ or a Rata or something. Exactly. So we're here with everything. Very nice. So that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, strength seven to winning uh, the threes. Three. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, right. That's just three did warriors. Yeah. AP like minus a build It's yeah. minus three, three damage. Minus three. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not going to take any saves on that. Yeah, three of them. Well, roll your reanimation, right? So, okay, so what will happen is the three will die, and it'll be the three that are letting you see them. Mm -hmm. So it'll, uh, it'll be that one and that one. It won't be that one because you can't see him, but it'll be that one there. Then, because I, I don't roll reanimation until the end of your attack sequence. But since you're choosing a different target for the weapon, you would shoot something else. Yep, that's cool. That's fine. So once then this happens, then I'll roll animation for them. It's it's one again. These two rules are from different editions, so they're not quite meshing the same way. But you'd roll reanimation now because that attack sequence has ended. Because your attack sequence, you need to finish firing all the weapons from that unit first. Into, but I'm not firing into them. It doesn't matter because I could reanimate them, then you could see them again. Oh, so, right. Okay. 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 So, okay, normally, oh, we'll, normally we'll, we'll, I we'll would, play it that way, that's but, fine, that's yeah. fine. So the second barrage is going to go into yep. the um, heavy destroyers. So six shots, threes. Nice. No, not nice. Wait, oh, good lord, sorry. I didn't see, I didn't see two ones that were hidden over here. Two at minus three. Minus three, so sixes, fives. Nope, one's damage. dead. How three damage. Right, so yeah, one of them is dead. One's dead. I'm going to roll reanimation on it. Looking for fives. Nope. 
You know what would be cooler reanimation change? Actually, this is not cooler. I'm just spitting this. It'd be crazy. Imagine you had to roll. No, that's that's stupid. I'm not even going to say it. I was going to say, imagine you had to roll the wounds taken and save all those wounds. Well, that'd be pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it should be. But, but make it better. Like make it on three ups or something. Yeah. Um, so the three warriors that died there. Yeah. It's on fours, right? It's on fours, yep. So one. And then I can reroll one thanks to Undying Legion. Oh, yep. So I would reroll it naturally. Yeah, yeah, they're all up. I'd reroll it naturally if it was a one, because it's warriors, but it wasn't. But uh, I've got Undying Legion, so they're back up. And they're going to be this way, because I don't want to make your charge with the uh, Trigon any easier than it needs to be. Yep. There you go. Cool. Fair enough. Yeah. So look, it's. I feel a little bit. I feel a little bit dodgy with that just because it's two different rules from different editions that shouldn't interact this way, but it's the way they do. Well, it's not your and fault. It's, 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 it's yeah. rules, rules designers and lack thereof yeah. at Games Workshop. Yeah. And in, in this case, I'd be just handing you dead warriors if I just reanimated and then let you shoot them again. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so now I'll be rolling up my 36 attacks from Devil, Devil, Devil Gaunts into you. Ouch. So this, is, this is the big one. Well, it would have been if I could have got the Exploding Sixes, but I, I, made, a, I made a boo boo. That's 20. I mean, if it's like a power had gone off and you wouldn't have been able to, to stationary with the Exocrine. Oh my God. The dice are all fully locked in. How do you get them out? <laughs> Force of will. Faith in the Emperor. Did you do it? I've been doing it all game. <laughs> so the bottom of the dice tray it's, it's next to it, which you can't see on camera, has a flat bed full of dice and you can't get your finger in to dig it out. So we can't get any more dice out. There is a way to fix this. We need to put something underneath these. Bang from the bottom. No. Then it'll... Then it'll <laughs> Here we go. You can't see it. We're using a Tyranid Warrior to like leave one Venom. out. Yeah, hey! Venom, Venom, Venom did it! Woo! <laughs> here you go, here you go. You can have a yeah. look. Yeah. See? When that was in there, we had to claw that out. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, fam. We got there. How many are you after? Uh, I'm after... I've got 20, so I need 16 more. All right, so it's three. Uh, so that's five, we've got five. Oh, yep. Yeah. And that's four, so five, so that's, that's ten, so I need six more after that. A lot of dots. Yeah, but no explodings. It is really lame. Do you want to give me a CP? <laughs> I mean, if I've, I've only got the one. Would, <laughs> would, would another one help? You've already spent them. Pause! <clears throat> that doesn't look great. Okay, so sixteen double exploding actually wouldn't really do much, but... Yeah. Nope. Not when you're rolling that many ones, twos, and threes. Yeah. So there's no rerolls on these at all. No. No. Okay. No. So yeah. I, again, uh, when doing this, you basically potentially build it in with which so the, which is hard because these are all the fails, right? No. There's uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, in this situation, you would potentially build it in with the reroll to hit uh, and a few other things to uh, mitigate this. Yep. And then even um, you'd have 30 of them that have the warrior buff. They'd be doing all sorts of shenanigans. Yeah, and then yep. they're re-rolling ones innately if they're over 20 to wound and stuff like that. So there are, like I said, there's definitely some cool things to do. Fours. Oh, yeah, cocktail there. Hey, it's not great. Not great, Mary. It's six. These are AP zero. All right, so six four ups. Six four ups. Hit, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Okay, when you make two, so four of them will die, which will be, now I'm gonna measure some stuff out real quick. <laughs> Is the charge now impossible? <laughs> it's 12 there, right? Yeah, oh, it's 11 there. As in, sorry. Oh, sorry, it's 10 there. So if I kill that front one, what is it? Uh, it'll be 12, yeah, to the back one. To the back one, what about that one? Uh, yeah, you they're, they're pretty much exactly in line with each other. Does the Trigon ignore terrain? Uh, no, you'd have to go around. Okay, so if I kill these two. Yeah. Makes that charge basically impossible. Yep. Yep, and then I can kill, I guess, two over here as well. Yeah. And I'll try and reanimate the four. Uh, three of them get back up. Rerolling one with Undying Legion. There you go. All four get back up. Yep. Yeah. And in this case, because it makes the charge impossible there, I can put a couple there, making sure that I've got plenty on the objective. Yep. Staying 12 away. Yeah. So you killed no warriors with all of that shooting. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like uh, with warriors and stuff, yeah, you just need more volume. Yeah. Like, this is where turn is just full, full by yeah. the wayside. It's just. And I mean, like, this is you're seeing the Necrons list that I built here do exactly what it's supposed to do. 
Yeah. And Tyrannids, unfortunately, don't have the firepower to shift them here. Well, this list definitely doesn't this have list, yeah, This yeah, list, this yeah. list. Yeah. Tyrannids as a whole, launch. for sure. Um, but yep. yeah. Anyway, uh, Hub Guard, we're going to shoot uh, this final one. Final one? Yep. yep. So six shots, re rolling everything. Yep. Uh, on threes. Hey, that's all right. There we go. All right. All right. And then threes. Yep. Oh, you've dropped a dice there. All right. Cool. Four AP. minus two. All right. So uh, two, threes, fours. Oof. And these are damaged a bunch. Yeah, it's three D three damage. This would be three. D oh, so D D three each. Yes. Um. Now you can take it. That's yeah, dead. No, it's it's dead. Just dead. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. I should have rerolled the save. God. Should have rerolled the save. Seriously, twos and threes. If someone is that interested, and please, I hope there is, can someone actually tell you how many two, ones and twos that I've rolled in this game? It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like, it's well below average. Yeah. It's, it's annoying. Yeah. But hey, look, I've now removed that. Look, uh, the reason why I targeted here was to uh, potentially, hopefully, save the Trigon for another turn. Mm -hmm. um, uh, because now it can't charge. Maybe I shouldn't have shot instead of save for the charge, but the Trigon only has seven attacks, so it can only kill seven warriors. Um, realistically, the Zone Throats is just going to charge and hold them up so they can't push any further onto the objective anyway. Yep. Um, because Zone Throats can just stay in combat and smite. Um, yep. They can be more effective in Psychic than they are in combat, and then it just holds this part of the board up, yep. and hopefully we can do other stuff elsewhere. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, we're just going to go straight into the charge phase now. Yep. Obviously, this charge is impossible. Mm -hmm. Zone Throat's gonna charge here. Um, yep. I'm not sure what it's gonna be. It um, looks about like a five. I'm gonna measure up to see if it's worth overwatching here. Yep. Everyone's within range. Yep. Um, you know what, I think it is worth spending CP on overwatch here. Okay. There's not, not other, char oh, there's the Broodlord over here, isn't yep. there? Yep, Broodlord charging. You know what, I'm gonna save it for the Broodlord because I think it's it's worth it more over here. That's much more important. Yep. That's not, a, not enough. Wow. One wow! Two. Ones and twos. Wow, man. I don't even want to play anymore. I'm, I'm just feeling bad see. at this point. It's not... Seriously! This is the brutal. What the actual f***? This is retarded. So that's that's the Overwatch there. So it's, Sorry, guys. It's, I just, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Look, I mean... On the one hand, yeah, I'm winning, but on the other hand, like... It doesn't feel good, because I'm like... I want to do stuff just, that makes, like, rolls. the game like, fun and good, but it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, Immortals... Do Tesla still work on Overwatch? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay. So, sixes. Only two. Which makes it six. Becomes six shots uh, hitting, yep. You now could kill it! Your toughness five, yeah? Yeah, two five. So, with six shots, I'm going to wind on fours, because they're strength five. Tesla? Yeah. Is uh, it Tesla, strength four? Tesla and Gas both went strength five. Gas just have the minus two AP. Ah, oh, wow, that's awesome. How do people not always take that? Uh, they used to be more expensive. So four of them, no AP. Uh, four. And the AP just isn't great. Wow, okay. So I lose one. Yeah, all right. Five wounds left. I totally should just catalyst myself. What an idiot. Do you want to throw that off? No, because I smited and failed. Oh, right. Rolled yeah. one and a two like an idiot. That's fair. Uh, cool. All right. Well, again, let's just go straight into it because there's yep. just only one. There's not much happening here, yep. so. Where are you starting? What do you mean, where am I starting? Oh, Broodlord, of course. <laughs> Stay point. Broodlord, dudes. Here we go, come on, let's positively bring this back. And we did. Awesome, okay. Good stuff. Uh, Immortals, the T5. Yep. Fours. Oh, uh, we did it on the win roll. Two wins. All right. Minus. Maybe like five or ten or something. Nah, it's minus three. I literally just looked at it. If it's minus before. three, then I'm getting sixes. Let me check. I'll check everyone again for the third time. <laughs> Well, again, I never really use it in combat. I actually, yeah, minus three. Sixes. Nope. Do um, it. Two die. And then that'll be... Um, given the lictors here already. I guess it'll be these two. No, it won't. It'll be these two over here. And then they'll try and reanimate. Fives. All right, and then they're not close enough to a character for command protocol, so only one of them gets back up. We'll get back up over here. Yep. Cool. Um, I'm going to choose the Scorpic Destroyers to fight with. Obviously. Yep. So uh, the Plasma Slide's going to buff them because why not? Yep. One. Nope. Of course not. Um, so I'm getting four attacks each with the Threshers. The Doubles. Yep. 
Sorry, they're all, they'll all be piling in as well. Don't they get plus one? Uh, they do, so the four attack to start with. Yeah, five. And then th three with the other one, and then plus one each for them. So with the threshers, hitting on three. This is what's really hard to compete with, when you have like units that have this volume, and this is just a ninth edition to eighth edition problem. You're saying that, I'm going into gene stealers here. No, okay, but, but, gene, but gene stealers are a, um, what do you call an outlier to the general are, nature yeah. of Tyranids, yeah. where you just have like, you know, for example, Scything Talons. You don't get an extra attack for each Scything Talon or pair like you do in, say, Lightning Claws. No, you just get you one just... if you have one extra. So he doesn't get extra two, he just gets an extra one attack. It's and you're like, yeah. FAQ that, right? Yeah, you'd think so. What's the minus? Uh, minus three, so fives. Oh, so we're there. Yeah, yeah, five, yeah. fives. Well, that's pretty good. They're dead. Um, oh, no, they're, I got These are range. two damage each, so roll them two at a time. Six. For so one's dead. Next one's dead. Next one's dead. Oh, that was close. Clean you. Ah, oh, okay. that was so close. They're all dead, and the other attacks are basically wasted. Yeah. Cool. So that uh, basically gives me the point. I presume you're going to attack with Gary, the Trigo, the Tyranid Prime. Um. In fact, they're not going to pile in, so I don't like lose my buffs and stuff over here. So scratch that. Yeah, you don't need to. Yeah, Gary's going to attack. Uh, yep. Hitting on twos. Very nice. And then winning on fives. All right, one. One at minus uh, two. Four up. No, damage. One. All right, so he goes into eight wounds left. <laughs> uh, cool. Yes. And then what other combats are there? There and there. So yeah. it's just, yeah. Your choice. Uh, I'll start over there. Yep. So five attacks, hitting you on twos. Yep. All right. And then winning you on threes. Yep. Oh, only one. Minus four. Oh, it just goes through. Well, All right, d6 damage. Five damage. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. Nope. So you've nope. got one left. No. Gary. Over there. Uh, yep. Over here. These are going to pile in. They've got two attacks each now, which is kind of nice. Um, so potentially with nine of them going in, Oh, uh, eight of them, because he's not going to be able to make it in. Yep. 16 attacks. Two, That's three. what I mean. Like, like, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to keep ranting, because I feel like it's a bit unsportsmanlike, because I'm losing pretty heavily. <laughs> I mean, Space Marines are this on everything. Yeah. Again, where we are one of the third, Threes. one of the four main old books at the moment. Yep. Guard, uh, Eldar, Nids. Nids, and Chaos. Okay. We all know Chaos books coming in January. Or oh, February, oh, February, wherever. Towers January. January. Towers January, so. Uh, strength four, so toughness five. Yep, two five. Fives. Good. Only like two. Three. Minus. No minus. Four. They're just hitting you, hitting you with guns. Two more wounds go through. Two more wounds. All right. So, so he's lost three in total. Then three. Yeah. Um, all right, and then that's, that's it. it. So we're going to call it there. We are? Yeah. All right. I mean, like, I can't do it. Like, I've got, I've got no obsec left. I've got no troop bodies. Right. There is no way for me to get on objectives. Um, there is nothing I can do here in this situation that's going to really change anything. Look, realistically, next like, turn, what's going to happen? They're going to move to a, miss the line of sight. They're probably going to pop that. He's probably going to move out, get close enough well, to the dents to not... Um, he, he wouldn't even move out. He'd just pop straight through there. He, he, I wouldn't bother Is he touching him. this obscure though? He can look past it. He's well past it. Yeah, okay. Here. But then, he's, so he, but then is that base? That base is going to touch that, right? He's probably going to go through dense. He well, he will he'll move anyway because he loses it with dense to begin with. So he may as well. Exactly. So he'll so move out. Move, he'll shoot down there. I'm getting another. I'm getting one of these back next turn with the phylacterian hive. Exactly. I'm resorbing over here to bring them back to full strength. Exactly. Um, I've got that objective. Trinity Katan's going to walk. That's going to kill through that and walk there. And then really, like, there's there's nothing I could do in this situation. Losing yeah. losing the the diamond Karen was probably the the sealer in it. To be honest, uh, I could stomach the barbed hydro kind of going early. Yeah. I, to be honest, I was expecting it. It's why I put that again. If you guys um, aren't a Patreon and, and, and you want it, you'd hear like where the decisions behind the list were with what we had. And putting Dermic Symbiosis was that kind of, well, I know mm. I'm going to be suffering a lot of anti-tank into that and that's going to be the big target. I can't obscure him, yep. whatever. Losing that was expected. It sucked because I rolled like a stooge. It was 
your rolling was not great. Like That's been horrid, yeah. If you'd rolled average, it probably still would have died, but I wouldn't have then been able to put all that damage into other things as well. Well, if I rolled average, Darmacaron would have been alive. Darmacaron would be fine. And, um, he'd be, he'd be kick, kicking around, killing stuff, having look, a grand old time. And to be honest, uh, with the new changes, it actually changes the dynamic of the army. Like I mm. said before, you know, uh, I've built lists entirely reliant on Forge World models. I've got a lot more Forge World models mm. that uh, reliant on that. And now that that's changed, uh, I've literally written lists where going, I actually don't know what this list is designed to do. Yes. <laughs> and it kind of goes back to old Tyranids being um, a lot of bodies, mm. board control, uh, with some oppressive shooting, rather than big bug kind of uh, crazy firepower. But I'm keen to see that board control has come up against this. Because okay, you would have heard in the pre-game show if you listened to that, or if you're just watching this one now. This list is designed to do board control. The reanimators are here to try and prove their work a bit. And I think they did here. Um, Actually, they're the they, one things that I think didn't do what they normally do. They kept the warriors alive so much more than they should. There yeah. should be half the number of warriors there. Yeah. Um, this one over here, sure. Gene Steels can wipe a unit of warriors. Nothing I can do about that. Yeah. Um, but they, they stayed here, they kept throwing reanimation on them. The next few turns they become big because they'll be throwing reanimation on the immortals and just tying up your Broodlord. Yeah. So I'm happy with how they did. And the board control of this list meant that I was there on the objectives, forcing you to come to me, forcing you to deal with each middle objective. Um, and it does that really well. Yeah. So I'm keen to see how your net tyranid board control list can actually come up against this and we can try and, and play that a bit. Well, warriors, I'm saying this now, warriors are the crux, the new, yes. the new, the new center of tyranids. Plus one uh, to hit off the warriors is just great. We can have nine of them, yep. all three, three wounds, T4, ignoring AP one and two, that can string out your 12 inch buff yeah. Uh, they're 40 mil bases. You can have they're nine big. of them. You yeah. can literally string half the board of, yeah. of that and you can put that, you can do that twice. Um, they're cheap. They're super cheap. They're mm. really good. Yep. Um, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not dirty on the Niz, I'm not dirty on the book. I love it. They're still my favorite army, but uh, it's just a shame that I rolled really poorly today. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> well, we'll tally up all those points and, and get all that ready for you. We'll come back with a Bit of a small little outro because that was kind of like a little outro yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway good yeah good thank game, you good man. sir yep no worries and we'll be uh we'll be back with our summary mm. that was brutal yeah the uh the biomass of the hive mind was completely molecularly annihilated yeah there is weak. nothing you've you've lost that entire splinter fleet it's gone but that's it it was a splinter right it, was splinter. it wasn't actually yeah. a main fleet all that biomass is just lost <laughs> evaporated that's why that's yeah. why it wasn't that bad it was just yeah. like cause it's a little bit <laughs> so so points at the end of that were was it 24 to, 34 to 25. Um, so obviously it needs to be 25 end of turn two so you might be thinking hey why did you guys stop playing mm. but uh i had seven units left and uh, one of firepower to deal with. Them. One of which was obsec, uh, one of which was troops. Mm. Um, we did a projection score, and it ended up being uh, ninety six to forty four. Yeah. So it, we projected it out. We went, look, assuming the tyrannids do well, just based on on how it all play out. And the secondaries are scored. Second secondaries and the way they'd work, given that as the game goes on, I just score more secondaries. Yeah. Um, purge the vermin and that kind of stuff. Yeah. It just meant that. You're not going to have the tools to score your own points. No. I'm just going to be scoring all over the place. 96 to 44 at the end. Yeah. Pretty brutal. So the problem, yeah. the problem with what happened uh, turn one and turn two was basically I was forced into pushing my troops forward to be a presence, i.e. Yeah. because I couldn't get um, my bigger bugs in a better position because mm. they just got killed. So yeah. there could be an argument that, hey, like maybe the Homogod should have sat back for a turn and then all these other bits and pieces. Also, I'm working with uh, not relying on the Swarm Lord. Yep. So yep. Swarm Lord's a huge crutch getting that double move. Uh, not having that uh, becomes kind of like a shift. Uh, I actually think it's, it's, it's better. It, 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 you, you enable, you open up your list for more points. Um, yeah. And yeah. it's something that a lot of uh, big competitive uh, tyranny players and a lot of people in general have spoken about that that's been a big crutch of the army relying on the Swarm yeah. Lord's ability to do all that. Well, I don't think it necessarily would have changed this all that much though either. Because you, you still, your Gene Steelers got where you needed them to, your Hormogons got where you wanted them to go. Yeah, maybe your Dharmakaron could have been closer. But well, yeah, double it's, moving Dharma Caron, it would have been a turn one. It would have been turn one charge, right? Yeah, so yeah. like, the, it, it it can be a huge thing. Like, hey, now you have to deal with this straight yeah. away. Um, but then Gene you Steelers wouldn't have did... had points for the Trigon or exactly, for any of the other stuff. Exactly. That, and yeah. look, 
you know, CP, le we're learning, I'm learning. It's yeah. a new book, it came out like two weeks ago. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Um, and again, look, well, I'm gonna come back with a much better list. It's gonna be very warrior heavy. It's gonna be very gone heavy. I'm gonna actually try and remove all Forge World from it for the people who maybe don't have access to Forge World or don't have those models. Mm -hmm. Be like, hey, what can yep. you do to make that work? Um, I don't think you need Forge World with a new book though. I think Jamakaran is still, still really still cool. Still, oh, no, no, but still, still very still viable. Still cool, and it's still uh, definitely a useful model, yeah. but you don't need it anymore. No. Whereas before you sort of, if you didn't take into that Forge World stuff with the Nids, you're boned. You're boned, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, look, it's all Hive Garden Devil Gaunts, which I and think worries. it goes, yeah, which is which is back to seventh edition, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, I didn't play then, but I'm pretty sure that's- It's pretty much what it was. That's what yeah. it was, yeah. so. Uh, and I mean, it's a thematic list. You just got bugs everywhere, little gribblies, a few big monsters in there, it's cool. See, now I've got to sit and paint another 60 models. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's, um, look, it's still a fun game. Uh, yeah. I, I don't want to keep I think, being negative. I just yeah. I don't like losing everybody. You know that. I like winning. Yeah. Right. And my record at the moment is not very well. It's not, it's not going it's, great. It's not going well. Next week maybe you got you bring in that chaos list against Drakari. That could work. Yeah. 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 Yeah, pretty cool. yeah. 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 Um, Hopefully. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, look. Regarding the Necron list, trying out the, the reanimators. I'm happy with it. They worked well. You didn't get to see them do a whole bunch of stuff, but as the game progressed in later games, you, uh, later turns you would have been failing to kill entire units at once. They would have just been making everything stay that much longer. Yeah. And it's one of the things we factored in when we went, look, all these units are still going to be here at the end of the game. To be honest, I think you're actual, uh, your actual uh, quad heavy destroyer. I'm, it's, not, it's, I'm not sure if two or three is the sweet spot. I think three is better. Three is better one for unit strats. Three. It's better for yeah. that. But one unit of three can get wiped immediately with one one shooting attack. So I think it's a good test. Maybe we should mm. line this up to do with the Death Guard and deal with Volkai Contemptors and yep, other bits yep. and pieces and Plague Burst Crawlers and stuff. Because uh, that'll be a good mm. test. You know, if you yeah. were going into Space Marine list. Tech Necrons. Like, t take take your Death Guard or, or Marines and tech for Necrons. Yeah. And, and we'll see how we go against that. Yeah, I mm. think that, that, that's, that's a good one. So yeah. stay tuned for that. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and yep. do all that dilly dally. It's, it really, really helps the channel. And if you want to get more involved, join our Patreon. Mm -hmm. Please jump on our Discord. Yep. Oh, jump in the Discord. It's so much great, cool stuff. We're man. chatting about like this game. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, everything that you hear, you, you, you find out first there. If you're in Melbourne, you can come down to all the game days that we run, yep. as well as our little club days yep. through Tenebrae Studios in, so Tenebrae Cafe in Cranbourne. Yep. Now we're out of lockdown as well. We're going to do oh, all sorts of events so and much. things. We, we have get a, everyone into play. It's going to be great. I'm going to say it now uh, because this will come out at a good time. Dalton's going to get angry at me. But we have an RTT coming up in January. Um, it's not going to be a big thing. It's probably only going to be a 12 to 15 player Something RTT. Something small, get started, you know, test the world. I'm not sure why, why I'd be angry at this. It's cool, I'm excited. I don't know, but you, you don't it's like me like revealing stuff when I shouldn't reveal stuff, because that's what I do. We haven't <laughs> talked about it, but it's cool. We plan I'm, it and I just say it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, look, uh, there'll be more coming up yep. uh, on our Instagram and stuff regarding that. But um, yeah, we really want to, to branch into that field and we'd love to see you all part of that. So mm. come join our community because we really want to build and make the Australian scene much bigger, especially here in Melbourne. So. Absolutely, and we've got so much space to grow and stuff. We're coming out of lockdown, we're coming out strong. Yep. Um, get involved, it'd be great. That's it. Yeah. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.